Welcome to Domino Maya Games. I am Maya, joined as always by the Hungry Domino. I'm actually not hungry. I just got done eating not long ago, but I will be hungry again. We all are eventually. <laughs> and when we are, we may go to a restaurant. You know, not go in it, but go to it. I mean, we are living in a very weird world right now. <laughs> And hopefully, when it opens back up, all these places will still be here. <laughs> I'm sure they will. If not, it's the memory. The um, memory! So, this is a tier list. Mm -hmm. for tier lists have been very popular lately, haven't they? They were popular some years ago, and now they've gotten popular again because people can't go to places like these. They're stuck inside playing things like these. <laughs> So, uh, well, I, it's also kind of interesting. Uh, these usually are very opinionated, and but the thing is, this is our opinion. This is not about you. <laughs> <laughs> People have to start these things off by saying that a lot. Look, this isn't personal. This is just what I feel. Okay, I feel that Chick Fil A is run by Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, here we go. This is a tier list, and we are talking about American fast food restaurants here. If you are not American, you are not going to get this. So, well, There mean, are plenty of these restaurants in other countries. That's true, but they're all of different quality, though. I've yeah, heard yeah. that a, a Domino's in any other country is superb in comparison to other countries. Kind of like Australia Anything in Australia is a million times better than it is in America because Australia has such high standards of fast food that you have to follow. Mm. So. And all of our Australian fall uh, watchers are like, good on you. <laughs> good on you. Right. <laughs> I don't know if that was insulting what I just did. I apologize. But we are about to start here. So we're going to go from beginning to end here just like this. So what would you say? Arby's. What was your first experience of Arby's? Oh, do you want me to tell this story? <laughs> is, it, is it interesting? Do, have I heard oh, it? Oh, it's interesting, but I think I've told you a long time ago. Uh, yeah, I told you a long time ago, the first time you and I went to an Arby's. So, we're talking about the old dating days that you and I had before we lived together and stuff. Okay, so... Officially. But that wasn't the first time you went to one, right? No. When was the first time you went to an Arby's? I was a preteen, so I was a small domino. I'm S O L uh, S M O L, small <laughs> domino. Um, I got my food and my drink. I was with my grandmother, and we were g well. We were getting the drink. You know how you serve yourself the drinks. Yes. Well, the machine decided to explode at me, and it got. Me full of soda and ice, and my food was completely soaked, so I didn't even get to eat the first meal that I ordered from Arby's. And for that reason, Arby's <laughs> is FT. <laughs> no, no. Since then, Arby's has apologized, <clears throat> by giving and it's you, made it up to me. By giving you great food and great ser service, correct? Sorry about that. Yes, they have actually given me really good service since then. Arby's has actually never disappointed me with their quality of food. I love their fries most of all and their jalapeno poppers. Mm -hmm. I personally started going there in the early to mid-2000s, and it was so good that we started making it kind of a weekly thing. We started off with just their sort of... Uh, roast beef sandwiches with melted cheese on them and stuff fake cheese is stuff you don't like but um i didn't graduate to like their club sandwiches and their buffalo chicken sandwich that i really enjoy i didn't graduate to that until gosh probably almost around the time we met so I always love how Arby's presents their food in the commercials, especially the sandwiches with the melted cheese over the top. It always looked really good to me, and that's what I always wanted. Mm -hmm. It was a place where I could get, when I, when I was really little, it was a place where I always wanted the adult meals. <laughs> <laughs> so I personally have never had a bad service experience at an Arby's either. They've always gotten my order right, and... 
Really? You know what the only time was? I don't know if I should talk about this, but the only time was I ever got kind of miffed at at workers at Arby's was uh, when I was having a very serious conversation with somebody and we were there late at night and we had to talk about something very important. And this lady, we had ordered food and everything and ate and we're drinking our sodas and getting ready to probably go in a bit, but we wanted to discuss business. And this lady actually walked up to us like, so you, you, you going to order anything else? You going to order anything else? And it's like, no, we're not. We're sitting here. We just got done eating. And it's like, okay, we're closing up in a couple hours. And it's a like, couple hours. Yeah. It was like still two hours to go Come before on. it would shut down. We had it. things timed out. We just wanted to sit there and talk business. Mm-hmm. And the, I was legitimately upset. It's like, yeah. gosh. I don't like when any restaurant does that. So for warning to any restaurant servers, don't bother people when they're wanting to digest their food. They'll leave. They don't live there. They'll leave. <laughs> so did we eat at Arby's the, uh, after going to the LMC concert? Uh, did we? Maybe. No, we've been to Arby's so many times. I'm pretty sure we did. I think we ate at Arby's right after we went to the LMC concert in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think so. We've also... Uh, two things that we do after we go to uh, an anime convention. We usually eat at a fast food place, and we also eat, usually eat uh, Asian food. Mm-hmm. Chinese or Japanese. Yeah. So I personally like Arby's. I know, again, it's very differing. I've, we've only been to a few Arby's, but we've ha- always had good experience. I've been to several Arby's in various places, so, mm-hmm. and they've never really disappointed me. So, All right, next up, Jack in the Box. All right, now I want to say something <laughs> about this. I, again, uh, this is about what we like. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is considered worse than McDonald's to a lot of people. I love Jack in the Box. It's so I even have I even have a little statuette bobblehead of Jack from Jack in the Box, which my uncle sent to me from California when he used to live there. It's really weird. We never had Jack in the Box here in North Carolina. I think they recently spread around. They do have Jack in the Box in North Carolina because there's one in Charlotte. Yeah, there's one in Charlotte. But they never had one here where we live in this area of North Carolina. They had one on one road in the back of town very briefly, and then it disappeared. So obviously it wasn't very popular, Mm -hmm. but I personally have never had a bad experience with Jack in the box. I've only ever eaten there once or twice. Yeah. And it was with me Mm because I introduced it to you. We were on our way back from a convention, of course. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And I saw the Jack in the Box, and I got excited, and I told you to stop there because we were wondering where we were going to eat. Mm-hmm. I was real surprised to see a Jack in the Box on this side of the country. We briefly we have eaten there, or we together. I don't know if you've eaten there before. I knew you. Yes, I went there several times in California. Okay, with my uncle, and that's when he got me the. That's why he got me the bobblehead thing, which I have packed away somewhere. I I would liken it to. Probably like Burger King esque. I would say that it's very Burger King esque. It's it, there is a bit of fake smoky taste to it, mm-hmm. and it's very, it's it's very heavily stacked food. Like you can get a lot of double patty stuff and mm-hmm. triple patty stuff with bacon and fries. Again, I've not had a negative experience. I usually like their food. Um, I'll either from me, I would put it in A or S slot. Let's. For this, because it's someplace we've only ever eaten, and it was, oh. it was fine. Is yeah. the thing. it's nothing to re- that we're like we have to eat at Jack in the Box. I don't care if we have to drive to Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Let's make it a trip for the night. We have to go to Jack in the Box. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say A. a yeah, because I was also going to say I, I really like it, but it's also not Arby's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a place where we where we go maybe once a month when the world's not shut down. So. All right. Just below Arby's. Checkers. I've never been to a Checkers. I've eaten from Checkers, but I think all I've ever had is just like fries. 
Um, I want to. I like their aesthetic. They kind of look like a 50s diner. Mm -hmm. I love that aesthetic, and you know that. And if they got the same kind of menu as those type of places, then yeah, I think I will like it. But it also depends on the quality. Um, Should we put Never Bean? Just because all I remember is just like maybe some seasoned fries I got from there. Oh, so you actually do not remember all of the quality. I do not remember the quality. I've never had a bunch of it. So. All right, well, I've never been, so if that's where you want to put it, never that's been. fine. That means we don't have a complete opinion of it. <laughs> so, Jimmy John's. I've never been. Jimmy John's varies, apparently. Uh, again, I've only ever eaten sub-sandwiches from Jimmy John's because the place where I used to work would, on, like, employee appreciation days, they'd bring in sub-sandwiches from Jimmy John's. And it was always boring. It was always very flat, boring bread with tons and tons of iceberg lettuce and just a few little slices of turkey or something with tomatoes and mayonnaise. Mm. And it was dry and they'd always put your pickle on the side. They'd never put it on it. What the heck? (laughs) And little bags of chips that you could have gotten at the grocery store. Oh, you see that? It was boring. I didn't like Jimmy John's, but again, I do know that there's other things you can get there. Okay. I just didn't care for them. Okay, well, I don't have a 100% opinion. After what you told me, it seems a little bit mediocre. I'm going to say C. Because <clears throat> it's, it's, it's doable. It wasn't pukish, okay. and it, it was all right. Yeah, if we're going to put something down in the F slot, that means they fail on all accounts. Mm-hmm. Like, they are they make you sick, they, they're they not good, and they have poor service, all of those things. If it's just one of those fail things, we'll put it in the D slot. Okay, okay. Sonic. Sonic. Sonic is good, though. Sonic is good, <laughs> but they're expensive. Yes, um, Sonic is so expensive. Down, that's their downside. I love their 60s aesthetic, and I wish that they would have Sonic the Hedgehog as their mascot, <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. Um, I like their 60s aesthetic. Uh, their poppers are really good. Um, I haven't had everything on the menu. They have I've, a ton of shakes. They have yeah, a ton of I like shakes, their shakes. slushies. I do. Uh, for me... Um, I already know that I kind of want to put it uh, either in A or S, maybe A. We're going to try A just because I've always been satisfied. Mm -hmm. The only reason that it's inconvenient is because you have to eat in your car the majority of the time. Yeah, and also um, their poppers are really good, but they're not Arby's poppers. (laughs) When ours opened up here in town, by the way, back in the late 90s, they actually uh, would play uh, uh, oldies music on the speakers. Uh, now you see, there. that would bump it up to S tier for me. Now that I think they do play like pop and R&B and stuff. If they so. continued to play oldies and kept the 60s aesthetic that they have, that would bu- automatically bump it up to S for me. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I think the one here in town is completely silent. I don't think they have music playing anymore. They probably got complaints. Well, then people can roll up their windows. <laughs> Water burger. Water burger, I don't have an opinion of because I've never been to it. I've been told it's all right, but you know, I don't have an opinion. So My only opinion is, is that I spent years not wanting to be embarrassed because I didn't know how to pronounce it. All I would ever see was the logo, and I would hear people say Water burger. And I was like, it can't be Water burger. It has to be what a burger. Yeah. It has to be. And then finally I was I was like, all right, I guess it's Waterburger. And I said Waterburger and I freaking embarrassed myself. And so I said, <laughs> Waterburger, it's Whataburger. <laughs> and they like, were just waiting for someone to do that. You know that. I studied it for so long and didn't <laughs> want to embarrass myself and I chose poorly. Anyway, Whataburger, I've never been. I heard they sell gigantic things. Like, if you want big everything, like, supersized well, everything. That makes sense, what a being burger. a Texan restaurant. Because everything's bigger in Texas. Well, that's what they want to claim. Including well, the egos. No, well, <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> White Castle. White Castle? Um, I've actually never eaten from the restaurant. I've sat in the parking lot, 
And it's just because uh, we would always go to this white castle as a, as a stop when we were traveling when I was younger. Um, but we never went in. Like, they would just stop for restrooms and stuff. But I've never been in. Now, I have had White Castle food, but we, when you buy it from the store, those little sandwiches, mm-hmm. and I do like those. But, yeah, uh, for me personally, I'm going to put it on the B category. I like their food, but I I don't know everything else about them. It is good, but it's not, you know, up on the high points. Like, it, you know. So, I grew up eating White Castle, but... I did not eat from their restaurants. Again, just like you said, I Hardly anyone is. I bought our family always bought the little uh-huh. sliders that you, at the grocery store, frozen sliders and you would you would put them in the microwave and make them real quick. To this day, I don't even know what else what the, what the other stuff on the menu even tastes like. I didn't know until I was maybe about 12 or 13 that there was a White Castle restaurant. I thought that it was a, a frozen hamburger brand. <laughs> so the first time I ate at a White Castle, an actual White Castle, was in um, Spiceland, Spiceland, Indiana, I think. I was visiting family there, and they had a White Castle. I was like, can I eat at the White Castle? Like, I, I've never eaten real White Castle. So we bought a bunch of sliders and... One thing, I don't remember the taste, but I remember my comment, which was, I think I like the microwave stuff better. I don't think this this is all that great. And I I guess that kind of puts it somewhere for me. You know what? We might want to put it on the C slot. Yeah. Because, I mean, I like their food. It's not terrible. But mm-hmm. I haven't had everything about it. And you, on your experience, said that you actually like their microwave stuff more than the actual food inside. The, the, I remember uh, not being impressed. I remember actually saying, now I just wish I had gotten some microwave stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, White Castle. <laughs> IHOP. I jump. Okay, that's what I call it. Whenever we want to go to IHOP, I say, can we go to the I jump? Has anyone ever done that? You, I spelled it <laughs> you jump. As a as a joke, you jump. <laughs> you jump. Um, okay, I like IHOP. I think that out of for one thing, most fast food places they don't really have very big breakfast menus. They're usually small. Um, they're not always great. They consist of only a few items during breakfast hours. Uh, IHOP, I think, is really good. I love their crepes. I think it's some of the best fast food breakfast. Mm. menu there is without making it yourself i (laughs) think it is some of the best breakfast food you can get into a fast food restaurant but also is ihop really fast food i don't think it is they don't have a drive-through yeah it's a sit-down restaurant so there's a lot of problems right now with ihop i think it's really good i really do um the only negative experience i had is the first time we went to one together the woman was trying to rush us out, mm. but that was just, it, it, that's not the entire chain's problem. That's just that particular one because of that one person. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to fault the entire industry for it. Yeah. Um, because I like, I, I do like their food. Um, I don't think it's a fast food restaurant. I'll put it on the list as A. The only really bad experience i've ever had in an ihop is just that it's too crowded a lot of the times for Mm. around here it's too crowded and they'll always make sure to sit us next to a crying puking baby so i'm gonna say a as well i put it in a for a quality of food Mm -hmm. quality of food okay customer service Mm -hmm. you know what no (laughs) <laughs> really? You're going to put it on B? Just you need make- to do better than okay customer service. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, I've had a lot of bad experiences at IHOP, whether it be like, just, and it's mm-hmm. always the service more than anything. Yeah, if the service was really good, I'd put it on S, actually. The food is fine, but the service, 
is is like it's always like they're either rushing us yeah or they they have no clue that two 20 year old gay guys aren't going to want to sit between two crying baby two two sets of triplets or whatever yeah, yeah. a family of crying puking babies you know, yeah it's i like, agree just put it on the b all right sorry about that i hop but it has to be and there's other restaurants that do this too so there's a few of you down there in the list i can see already have also done this to us be warned <laughs> papa's in the house okay um this this situation i have to kind of combine temporarily combine with uh wait a minute is pizza hut even on here they are okay there they are right down there um the reason i'm kind of temporarily temporarily combining this is that i like both pizza hut and papa john's um both have good pizza but papa john's goes up just a pinch because they will allow you to have custom dipping sauces and jalapeno peppers in mm -hmm. the box yeah now i like that um it's not going to be better than another uh pizza place that i already know too but I will say that Papa John's is a little bit better than Pizza Hut. So we, you'll see where we put Pizza Hut later. I like Papa John's. I think that it's very basic middle-of-the-road pizza. Mm -hmm. I really do. I don't think there's anything shameful about it. I, yeah. I have nothing against Papa John's tasting pizza. I think the last time I ever ordered from them was probably... The, like 2011 or 12. It's been a long time. It's been a little while. I, rem I remember I, th the pizza delivery guy said the slogan to me or something like that, and I was so impressed that I actually left him a good review. Wow, now there's some service. He, he, like, I was like, I haven't had Papa John's in so long. I'm so glad to finally get it. And he was like, well, you know, it's always so-and-so so and Papa's in the house or something like that. I, I don't know. Something along those lines. And I was impressed. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> anyway, Papa John's, I've never had bad service from them. Yeah, no, They're I. pretty good. We I, used to order them all the time before I uh, knew you, actually. That was our preferred pizza place. I'll put it on A if that's yeah, where you want to put it. I think it. A is good for Papa John's. Yeah. Panda Espresso. Panda Espresso. Panda now, Express. Uh, what, what do you think of Panda Express? Now, I definitely say that it is a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yes, you sit in it, but there's also a drive through I consider it the fast food of Asian restaurants. <laughs> That's pretty it's, much, I think, what it's supposed like what to be. What other Chinese restaurants you know that are fast food? There isn't. They're all sit-down restaurants, and that's the way they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Japanese, Chinese, whatever, whatever other Asian restaurant, they're usually sit-down restaurants. Panda Express did something that no other Asian uh, restaurant company has ever done, and that's make a fast food chain. Now, that is impressive. Um, it's not the same quality, though. <laughs> it is not. Uh, it's it, really good for what it is, but it's also not as good as the sit-down restaurants. Yeah. We have eaten there voluntarily many a time. And I will go back again. And we've seen people dislike it. In fact, I think the one here in town has terrible ratings. It is considered like one of the worst restaurants in town. Really? Yeah. I haven't had bad stuff from there. I never have. If I have, I, I wolfed it down and didn't notice. Well, so. we also live in a town where there's like over 130 restaurants, so I think people here are just a little opinionated. Yeah, there's nothing to do in town but eat. So, like, I've actually seen people on like forums talking about our town saying this place sucks there's nothing to do but eat here <laughs> well uh, every time we've been there it's been crowded yeah that's true every so. time we've been there they're all they always have service so i think they're doing fine um i will put it on a just for the fact that it is exactly what it is it's asian fast food but it's not as good as sit-down restaurants, but we're not really comparing it with another Asian fast food, so... And I don't think we ever had bad experience there. Yeah. 
I will put it on A for that reason. If there was another Asian fast food restaurant, we'd be able to butt heads with that one, yeah. but we don't. So it earned the A slot. I'm not taking. Okay, Popeyes. I've never been to either. You ha- well. No, I have not. I've haven't not we brought it home to you though? Nope. You told me the thing that you know most about it is that it's really spicy. It's really spicy. It's like any that other would chicken not bother place, me. but it's spicy. That really wouldn't bother me. I would love to try Popeyes. I, I For me, I would have to put it in the never been slot, but you've eaten it before, right? Mm-hmm. So I guess you can take it from here as to where you think it should go. For me, it's in the never been. It's fine. It's... It's right around like Bojangles or churches, which I know you've had churches. No, I have not. We have churches all the time here. We do. I've not had churches, no. What we have often had is Bojangles. Okay. Then Bojangles and, church, Bojangles and churches is the exact same thing, but spicy. That is what Popeyes is. Okay. So what the hell do I do with Popeyes? It fell out of my hand. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's. I also don't see Bojangles on this list. It's in there, I believe. I do not see it. Uh, this isn't the whole list. It's, uh, wow, they don't have Bojangles on no, there. No, no, no. I swear, I saw. I, 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 oh, interesting. You made a mistake. All right. So that means that this is going to have to. Yeah, it belongs here then. A. Eh? Do you what, like it better be- than Bojangles? No. Because that's exactly what that would mean. But Bojangles is not on here, so we can't really put it on the list. I'm going to say Popeye's A. Okay. Because it's a great uh, fried chicken place. It's better than Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'll, I'll remember that. It is better than <laughs> I, Kentucky I, Fried I, Chicken. I know you'll remember that. <laughs> Little Caesars. Okay, I can't stand Little Caesars. Yes, this is something... Um, that broke my heart <laughs> when I first met you, finding out yeah. you don't like Little Caesars. It's not the fact that I just hate it. Um, I mean, it partially is. Little Caesars makes me physically ill, and I mean violently ill. If I eat it, I will throw up terribly. There's something in their sauce, you said. Yeah, I'm not typically someone who's allergic to food, but this has happened to me. It's something in it gives me some type of a reaction. And I have learned after after reading online that other people have had that reaction too. It has it's to be some kind me. of MSG or something, some kind of glucose that you may be allergic to. Their breadsticks are good. I will say that. I don't like their pizza because every time I'm near it or if I see it, I get ill and then I just don't like it. So, yeah. The main reason that I was so upset that you didn't like Little Caesars and that I would never be able to eat Little Caesars again was the fact that it's so convenient. <laughs> it's <laughs> such a convenient freaking pizza place. It's a, You can get a large pizza in two minutes for $5, man. I'll tell you what, dude. How do you do that? <laughs> I'll tell you what. We can order Little Caesars. I'll just eat the breadsticks. I've eaten from them since then. I remember. I, I, I <laughs> One day, this was maybe about two or three years ago, uh, I, I had done a bunch of errands all around town for something I was having to do. And I was just like, you know what? I don't care. I, I know. And I think I even called you and let you know I was going to do it. I was like, I'm going to get Little Caesars and I'm just going to eat a whole pizza to myself. I don't care. And I got it and I ate the whole pizza to myself. (laughs) I was constipated for a week, but it was worth it. And it's, (laughs) that's the thing. It's not good is the thing. It's not very good. Again, it's like Papa John's to me personally. I've heard a lot of people say that their pizzas taste too sweet as well. (sighs) Papa John's tastes sweet. It, they definitely use like a, a basil sauce, like a basil type sauce as their pizza sauce. Mm-hmm. Little Caesars is kind of tough. Like their bread is very, very, uh, I don't know. It's, it's very wafery and it's tough. It doesn't mm-hmm. yield to the bite. You have to kind of rip it. So 
I guess they do have some downsides, other than the fact yeah. that they make me throw up. It's the convenience <laughs> of it that I miss. I miss saying, I feel like a pizza. I'm going to get a pizza. I now have a pizza. And now it has to be, oh, God. I have to get the card out. I have to get on the phone. I have to, or on the internet. I have to sit and wait. I got to wait for 20 minutes. And <laughs> if you want a Little Caesars pizza, you get one whenever you want. You know that I don't care. I'll think about it. <laughs> but then I'll always get, you didn't get me anything. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll eat something else or I'll eat your breadsticks. I'll order double yeah, breadsticks. Yeah, you'll eat my breadstick. Uh... <laughs> I love your breadstick. <laughs> for those conveniences <laughs> and inconveniences, I'm going to put Little Caesars at C. Yes, they may oh, so kill it's middle of the road. Yeah, they may kill my fiance, but hey, they're 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 very cheap and they're very quick. So they're like a, a never mind. Uh, Zaxby's. Zaxby's. I've never been to. I've never been to a Zaxby's. I wanted we to go see to them Zaxby's. Everywhere. Yeah, there there's a lot of them around here. There are so many Zaxby's around that. I wanted to try their birthday milkshake that they put out the first year I moved here with you. They apparently have a bunch of milkshakes, too. And it's gone now because yeah. it's no longer their birthday. But <laughs> So, never been. Sorry, Zaxby's. <sighs> the, Burger King. the King. Burger King. Now, I know that I better give this one a good rating or I'm going to get a call from my mom. My Your mom, mom likes Burger King. She is a huge fan of Burger King. A fan? <laughs> <laughs> she loves Burger King. Uh, when I was born, I spoiled my mother's dinner, and she had some, um, everybody run out and get her Burger King. How did you spoil your mother's dinner? She um, just started eating dinner and went into labor, and she didn't get to eat. Oh. <laughs> she did not get to eat for several hours until I was born. <laughs> so she was extremely hungry by the time I came out. <laughs> <sighs> Gave birth to a Burger Queen. Uh, oh, really? Burger King, I absolutely 100% love Burger King. Mm. I love Burger King. I kind and of figured you'd say that. It's like one of your favorite places. I have worked at Burger King. I, I, have now, I am now far enough away from it now that I can admit it. <laughs> that I'm okay with saying this. Everybody's had a little job like that. I worked at Burger King for a summer. <laughs> I hated it. It was <laughs> one of the worst places I've ever worked in my life and not because of Burger King. It was a worse it was a terrible place because of the area that it was in. It was a very crime-ridden, scary area and the people and just the environment of Yeah, that. it was not fun. It was very He's stressful. not faulting the chain and he's not faulting the quality or everything that uh, that Burger King is. Mm -hmm. Just the the work experience of yeah, it. Yeah, it was not fun. <laughs> Burger King I like. I do like their food. Um it's not Arby's. I will put it in the A slot. Um Well, see that's hard for me, baby. If I had to choose over any fast food burger joint, Burger King. No, you know what? They got those chicken fries that I often specifically request mm -hmm. when you go to Burger King. You can put it in the S tier if you want to. You you told your little story. Let me tell one. Okay. <laughs> so one of the big reasons why I love Burger King is not just because of the taste. They have... They they use uh, liquid smoke, by the way, with their food. I know this because I worked there. Mm -hmm. They use fake smoke to make everything taste charbroiled and barbecued and stuff, which is a lot of people that they, they really hate because they think that it causes cancer or something. I don't know if that's true, but I just think it tastes good. Um, when I first got my driver's license some years ago, um. I would just drive around town all night and all day and our Burger King in town would stay open until like midnight. And I just remember being exhausted after doing teenager stuff that I had always wanted to do all my life. And at the end of the night, the only place that would be open would be Burger King. And I would go to the Burger King and I would sit inside of my... <laughs> 1998 Crown Victoria. 
That isn't the year the, that isn't the year that this happened. By the way, it was just an older Crown Victoria. Yeah, and um, we had a techno station in town at the time, and I would just listen to techno music, and I'd look up at stars, and I would eat Burger King, and it was just so relaxing, and it felt so freeing, and that's one reason why every time I go to Burger King. They don't have a techno station here in town anymore, but I turn on my phone to an app I have and I play techno music while I eat Burger King. And it's one of my most favorite little things to do whenever I haven't had a big meal in a while. Mm -hmm. And I love it. That's why I love Burger King. Um, I want to go and say right now that we probably will have more than one thing in the S tier. Uh, we are not going to go and choose which is better out of the S tier because that's too hard to do. <laughs> everything that's in the S tier is just better than everything else so, equally. So Arby, Arby's is just as good as Burger King. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say S tier for Burger yeah. King. I changed my opinion too from A to S because of those dang chicken fries. I love Burger King. <laughs> and they have those super soda machines in there where you can pick like any flavor of soda po- humanly possible from mm-hmm. it and it mixes it for you there. Yeah. I love it. Okay, time time for my brother to fight me. Wendy's. <laughs> Wendy's. Um I like Wendy's a lot actually. Um I have had Wendy's uh many times in my life. I still really like them. Uh both me and my mom will often request to have Wendy's when we're, whenever we're together. That or Burger King. Uh, I love their Frosties. That is one big thing for me. I love dunking fries in Frosties. I don't care if nobody else <laughs> likes that. Everybody does that now. That's I, a big I love thing doing now. it. I remember thinking to myself, God, gay boys love dunking fries into a milkshake. That has to be a gay boy thing. No, 60-year-old grandmas do it. Everybody <laughs> dunks their fries in a milkshake now. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I I really like Wendy's and I love their bacon meals. Like just they have really good taste to me. So for me, I want Wendy's on the S tier actually. <sighs> you know that we, that's where I would put we it. We happen to live by a bad Wendy's. I want to say that right but now. But we've been to other good Wendy's. We've been to great Wendy's and every yes. time we do get a good order, it's delicious. Yes. We just live next to a bad Wendy's, and we've gotten bad service in the past. Our Wendy's in particular, they cannot get an order right at all. I have had to drive back to them probably eight times in our entire tenure here where we live. So, Wait a minute. Hmm? No, I was thinking of something. Did we ever have a, a negative experience with service at another Wendy's? You know, another reason why I want to put Wendy's up on the S tier is because last year in the middle of summer, I went and visited a town that I used to live in that I absolutely cannot stand. (laughs) But the Wendy's was so nice to me. They gave us two extra Frosties. Oh, yeah. So that's another reason I'm going to put Wendy's on the S tier because in a place that I absolutely hate, the Wendy's was nice to me. (laughs) S tier. (laughs) <laughs> there you go. Taco Bell. <sighs> tell me the truth, hon, because oh, I want to hear what you have to say, and I'm going to tell you my, my little truth in all of it. <laughs> okay, I don't hate Taco Bell. Okay. I actually do like it. Um, I used to love when we would order Taco Bell, and I would get those lovely empanadas, and we would get um, I would get the Blue Mountain Dew, which I'm not supposed to drink. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I actually um, was told by a doctor I'm not supposed to have a lot of Mountain Dew in my life, maybe one or two a year, because I have a heart condition. <laughs> so we would get, I would get the blue Mountain Dew, and I just wouldn't drink all of it, and I'd give the rest to my siblings or something. But, um, and I don't really have negative experiences with Taco Bell. I'm just going to say that. Everybody... A lot of people say they hate Taco Bell. I don't ha- I've only had one or two negative experiences with it may actually making me sick. But that's just because I was sick from just something else or something. Mm-hmm. It wasn't always the food. I do get indigestion in general, so I could eat oatmeal and it would give me heartburn. But 
Yeah, I don't hate Taco Bell. I I won't put it in the S tier because there's other places that are better, and you can also make homemade tacos better. So I'll put it in either A or B. That's fine with me. I do miss having their empanadas, and we, you and I have never been to a Taco Bell together. <laughs> and I will explain why. <laughs> I do not like Taco Bell. I do not like Taco Bell. I think that it it is bland. I think that it's too expensive for what it is. I think that it's messy. The only thing that I ever liked from them was when they made a Mexican salad bowl that was really good. Oh yeah, those were good. It was really good. Every one of my exes loved Taco Bell. Every <laughs> one of my former friends loved Taco Bell. Everyone I've ever known in my life says Taco Bell is life. And what I have gathered through, through reconnaissance <laughs> is that people <laughs> only like Taco Bell because it's open all night. And I, that is it. Yeah, you know, I think there isn't too many competitors. My whole life I've known nothing but night owls is a thing. So, of course, they love Taco Bell. I, But it's horrible. It's, it's I'll disgusting. S- I'll say that, that there are things on the menu that I like from Taco Bell, but it's not the greatest thing out there. I don't like Taco Bell. I'm sorry. I just don't like Taco Bell. I don't. Th- I, and I used to ruin people's nights when I was like, <laughs> who wants to go to Taco Bell? Me, me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I've admitted that I, there are things on the menu I like. There are things that are also not good. Uh, I don't hate the place, but it's not the best place out there. Now, I know anybody else would probably say right now, oh, it's the best taco place. It's not. There's other Mexican restaurants. And believe it or not, Taco Bell is really not a traditional Mexican restaurant. It is what they call an an Americana copy. I will say I've never had bad service there. I've never had bad service at Taco Bell. So, I'm going to say C. All right, yeah, that I'll leave it there. That's fine with me, too. C for me. I don't like Taco Bell, but I've never had bad service there, and you get what you pay for, so. Anyway, Subway! <laughs> I'm going to talk about a judgmental place. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really had too many negative experiences from Subway. A lot of other people have, though. Yes, people can go on rants about subway how much they hate subway um i have actually seen negative workers there react to other people so i will say their service is not the best they can get judgmental Mm -hmm. they get impatient uh this is a place that has to make the food for you while you're standing in a line and you tell them what you want on your sandwich so the workers there often will act impatiently they're not supposed to obviously but uh, I they haven't really done that with me really, but I've seen it happen to other people in the same restaurant where I'm standing nearby, and I just think it's rude. So their service can be rude. So it's not going to get an S tier for me. But the food uh, is all right. I mean, I really love the tuna subs we get. So I like Subway. I don't like the fact that you have to pay extra money for for extra tuna. And they oh, don't yeah. they don't put enough tuna on a tuna sandwich. They just put a little layer like it's mayonnaise. I never get enough mayonnaise actually. I never get enough mayonnaise. But we eat there. Other. We do. We always go back, don't we? <laughs> well, Yeah, but we ask for extra things when when we're in the mood for it. It's not the best place. It's really. I think not. they're right next to IHOP. What do you think? That's fine with me. They with don't... service and quality, IHOP yeah. and Subway. Yeah, IHOP also had the impatient people, so that's where we're going to put impatient. Okay. Service. <laughs> <laughs> so Five Guys. I've never had. Five Guys, their big thing is that they're super expensive because they only use the highest quality ingredients like they only use grass-fed beef they only use like um (laughs) like natural veg chopped up vegetables and potatoes and everything 
we had one that moved in right next door to the grocery store where I used to work. And I remember one of the girls that I worked with was like, Jeremiah, we got to go to five guys. They just opened you come, come on. I, I, it's It's going to be my tree. Come with me. And I was like, I can't, I, I have to work. And it's like, Oh, you're no fun. Is that? And then she left and then she came back and she said, that was way too expensive. <laughs> there you go. There I am you so go. glad you did not come because uh, that would have been so expensive. By the I way, couldn't any, afford that. Any fast food restaurant can claim those things to make themselves sound good. Just saying. I'm not faulting five guys here, but any restaurant can claim that to make themselves sound good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never been heard things though. Okay, Applebee's is not a fast food restaurant. Uh, you want to just skip it? That's a sit-down restaurant. Yeah, we can skip it. Okay. And I've also never been there, so you can just put it in the never been. All right. So skip it. Annie Ann's pretzels. Okay, Auntie Ann's, um, they're decent. I've never been. Um, I like their chewy hot pretzels, and you can get the, the cheese sauce if you want them. I do like the, the large salt uh, particles that are on the uh, pretzels and everything. You can get hard or soft pretzels there. Um, you can also get the cinnamon kind and stuff, I think. Mm-hmm. You would always see them in malls. That's, That's what the I only place I've ever seen them is in malls. <laughs> I've never seen them outside of a mall. So they're kind of hard to get to. That That's their problem with them. Um, they're hard to find location-wise. Um, they're, they're all right. I have not eaten at them a whole lot, but I have had a few things, and they were decent. I'd put it on the B or C side. All right. Service is not uh, bad. I really have never even, anytime I've had something from Auntie Anne, somebody bought it for me, so I don't know how the service was. We'll put them on B. Okay. Chili's. Um, I've never been to Chili's. Uh, my mom has about four times, and she said every single time she went, it made her physically ill and to never go. Was it just her particular Chili's? She had been to four different chilies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she would not go back to one. As soon as it made her sick, she would go to a different one. And she now refuses to go to a chilies at all. So I've been to a chilies once, and it was for a, a date. And the guy that I was dating asked if he could bring his gal friend, his gal pal friend, because he was nervous about meeting me alone. I remember this story. And... He was so quiet and shy the whole time that me and his girlfriend chatted up all evening. We were just talking about all sorts of stuff and cool stuff. We kept trying to invite him into the conversation and he he would just be quiet. And I I ended up almost being friends with his his (laughs) gal pal more than him. That was sad. I never, I never saw him again, unfortunately. I guess maybe he didn't like me or something, but me and his friend got along really well. Mm. Chili's, I don't recall. I really don't recall what the quality was. I almost want to say never been, just because I have been there, but I don't remember anything about him. I just remember the date. <laughs> so, I've never had chili, so yeah. We're going to put that in never been. Chipotle. Never been to Chipotle. Never been to Chipotle. I've heard good and bad things about it. Yeah. And it is like it's like dude church or something. Like if you if you are a bro, you you have to make a stop at Chipotle bro tonight. Mm. We're out late. They're about to close. Get to Chipotle, man. Get ourselves a late night meal, bro. But I've also, late night protein. <laughs> I've also heard from some notable people that know really good food that Chipotle is just mediocre. Yeah. I'm going to say no. I've never been I, to I've it, never so. been to it, so. Okay. Denny's, Denny's is not a fast food restaurant, people. Yeah. It is not. It is a sit-down diner. Uh, I, I've been to Denny's. But I, I did years ago, apparently, in Indiana, and I don't remember it. Um, At the height of their controversies, too, when they kept getting in trouble for being racist to their customers. Denny's is expensive. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. Denny's is often expensive. Um, I did have uh, the, the last um, time I went there. I the food is okay. Like the food is not bad, but I just remember um, it was my grandmother's birthday. I had a Denny's gift card that I had gotten um, 
at some point, and it was still good, and I had not had a chance to use it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take my grandmother out for her birthday. We went to Denny's, and we ended up uh, having $8 left behind on this card. And I had a crush on the waiter that was uh, <laughs> serving us. He was a nice-looking boy. He was kind of uh, an emo boy. He had really nice hair, and he was real tall, I remember. I was like, holy crap, you are really freaking tall. But... um. I really liked him, and I said, you know what? You can have the rest of the money <laughs> on the card. So I gave him an $8 tip. <laughs> and I'm sure that made him happy. <laughs> so that That's the last time I was at a Denny's, actually. <laughs> I, again, I don't think I've been to a Denny's since the mid-90s. Um, I remember they used to have wishbone-themed toys at Denny's. I wishbone didn't know that the dog. Toys. That for kids meals, yeah. You could get a wishbone toy. Oh, another Denny's story I actually had. Um I went to um what well, it was called a Denny's Diner. Now this is separate from just a regular Denny's. Mm-hmm. This Denny's Diner, it was located in Stockton, California eh. when I was there with my uncle, and it was completely retro futuristic themed from the fifties. Hmm. So it was like this big silver diner. And inside, I remember it just being real noisy. It was so full inside. You couldn't even hear the music. But I just remember I really appreciated the theme. And although we couldn't stay long, for one, they were too busy and there was no place to sit. So we actually had to get stuff to go. So that wasn't a very good experience. And um, I couldn't hear the music or anything, so we just had to leave. Damn. Yeah. (laughs) It was so packed in there. So obviously that place was popular. <laughs> well, you can guarantee it's not like that anymore. Next on the list, <laughs> Domino's Pizza. Your pizza, hon. This is S tier, by the way. S tier. I love Domino's Pizza. <laughs> I know people hate Domino's. I know people go on crusades about how awful Domino is. No, I love Domino's, and it's named after me. So People go into rants about it's It's the most unhealthy. It's so bad. It's it's not even biodegradable. You put it in the ground and it doesn't melt or something. I don't know. Every they, single one of these restaurants has something terrible in it that will be bad for your body if you eat too much of it. You want to know two things I dislike about Domino's Pizza? Okay. They no longer serve deep dish. Oh, that's that's upsetting. They now they now sell, uh, they call it something different, pan. They call it pan pizza. That is different than deep dish. Yes, it, which means it just has thicker bread, which I do not like. That's my least favorite part of a pizza is the bread, honestly. I want deep dish. They got rid of deep dish. And the biggest infringement of them all, they got rid of buffalo wings. And let me explain this to you. Domino's is the first place I ever ate buffalo wings at. They got rid of marinated wings, and now they give you chicken wings with a little cup of dipping sauce. And that's it. You have to dip your own wings. Like, why did you do that? Why did you... Do you really think that the convenience of that... And no, I know why they did it, because mm-hmm. you have to pay extra for extra cups. Yeah, so that that they're wanting to make more money for that and stuff. Can I have extra dipping sauce, please? That's five cents extra. <sighs> oh boy, Domino's, right. you are kind of slipping from the S tier at the moment. They got rid of deep dish and they got rid of marinated wings. Do you think the Domino's might be an A tier? We get it a lot, but I'm going to say, just because of that alone, I'm going to say A tier. Yeah. I mean, it's still one of our favorites. That's what made me fall in love with Domino's Pizza. Uh Uh-huh. Honestly. Is that options? And it would have been S tier if it would have kept that. Yep. Well, it's it's A tier. Uh Also, they take too damn long some days to get ready. Oh. Yeah. But then again, that varies from town to town, obviously. Mm -hmm. CC's Pizza. CC's Pizza I've never had, but if CC from Black Pearl Brides is there serving it, then I'll go. Hey, dude, you want some pizza? <laughs> uh, never <laughs> mind. 
<laughs> uh, Hardee's. Hardee's, Hardee's, Hardee's. Okay, um, Hardee's, by the way, I always, to this day, no matter what town I'm in, will refer to it as Carl's Jr. <laughs> because the first time I went to one, I was in California. Mm-hmm. I love calling it Carl's Jr. I, I know that it's Hardee's over here on the East Coast, and that's fine. I love Hardee's, actually. I want to put it on the S tier. I really love their food. I've never had a disappointing experience from them. I, I just love all of their food. To my recollection, they have never gotten an order wrong for me, and we had one here in town on the corner of our neighborhood for about 20 years. And even longer, I believe. Mm-hmm. And it just shut down this year or last year. So, and I, I was shocked. I was shocked to see it shut down. You want to know something else about Carl's Jr. Hardee's that really made me question about fries? For a long time, I used to say to uh, people and, you know, just in general, McDonald's has the best uh, fries. Mm-hmm. Hardee's rivals that. Interesting. Very much. I will get a whole meal of just Hardee's fries. Wow. So, Hardee's, I'm going to say, even though, and I'm going to be, I'm gonna, this is going to freak some people out here. I think their burgers lack a little bit of flavor. Really? I think their burgers are a little lacking in the flavor department. I think they're, they are plain beef. Very similar to Wendy's in that sense. It's very plain beef. Well, I don't know. Wendy's tastes a little bit better sometimes. Yeah, but I'm still going to put Hardee's in S tier. I, I like some of the recent stuff they come out with, with the sauces on them and uh, the one with the onions and everything. And it's just, I, I want Hardee's up on the top. <laughs> Something that also I need to mention, their breakfast. Their breakfast is amazing. Yes, and, and I... Their sausage biscuits I said and tater there, tots. There is not very many fast food restaurants that do good breakfast, but uh, Hardee's also takes that one, too. I remember on cold days when we would... Me and my brother would be home from school, and we would be like, can we get Hardee's for breakfast? And it's like, okay, and they would go to... Hardee's and we get these sausage biscuits and tater tots and of course a big huge Coca-Cola that little kids shouldn't be drinking. <laughs> but yeah, gosh, Hardee's Hardee's has always been good. I've always enjoyed Hardee's. So yeah. So here is something that I can comment on finally. And I I feel you could have commented on it before, but now you have had a more recent experience. Um, All right, In-N-Out Burger. Um, I like In-N-Out Burger, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, I've had it in the past pre-2020, and that's first, my first opinion is going to go to that first. Okay. I was in California, and I liked In-N-Out Burger a lot, actually. It reminded me a lot of McDonald's. I, I compared it a lot to McDonald's. Mm-hmm. I thought Jack in the Box was better. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that uh, all the ones in the S tier are also better than In-N-Out Burger, but I still liked In-N-Out Burger for kind of its retro aesthetic and also just a classic menu. When you want fast food, you'll get... You know, typical classic fast food from In-N-Out Burger. That is what you will get. Now, for my negative review about this, we went to San Francisco in mm-hmm. 2020. Yes. They shut down half of their menu. Yeah. I told you, not everything was available. They just had a very few basic things open, and it was very difficult to really even uh, share the In-N-Out experience of eating it with you. Mm-hmm. So that's why your opinion is probably not going to be very good. Uh I liked In-N-Out Burger. I would put it um, maybe on A, but um, it might just go to B because of that reason. Mm-hmm. Um, pre-2020, I would put it on A. After 2020, when we had it, now that was just that one location. I'm not saying that every In-N-Out Burger is like that. But I think they were just only opening like half of the menu just because they didn't want people to stay there very long and that's not very good service wise I feel yes I know they were being safe I understand that but we're also going by service and quality here too so that's why possibly it may go to B because of that I liked it (laughs) 
<laughs> I liked In and Out. I thought that it was I'm not fine. Saying it's terrible. Here's the thing, though. I don't have much to go on, unfortunately. My only experience with In and Out was during a pandemic where they had mm-hmm. to shut down a bunch and they hate they didn't want you in their restaurant. You were a burden on them. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't have much to go on. And But do you kind of agree that it's classic fast food? It's it's basic. I yeah. don't unless it has something to do with the pandemic, I was not over the moon the way that a lot of Californians are about In and Out. And I know a lot of people say the biggest downfall of In and Out is that it's super expensive. Everything's expensive in California. Get over it. You 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 flying cow or whatever they're called. The, the, I forgot what they're called. Flying cow. It, it's, there's a terminology for people who just visit flying cow. Who just visit visit California and stuff and go back to the farm later. Okay. I, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> but yeah, it's expensive. It's California. Everything's expensive. Every, yes, it's an expensive place. But um, <clears throat> I like it in a burger, and I will go back again. I'm not saying I hate it. I it's wouldn't just... say that it's as bad as McDonald's. It didn't give me jet streaming diarrhea but i okay i guess b to be fair my experience that i had with them wasn't that great because it was limited i'm sure that it's it's probably an a tier later on i'm sure once the world opens up and if i'm able to live in california full time i bet it could go to an s tier i think it's a b tier I, I really do. It's like Wendy's, really, just smaller Except portions. Is yeah, it's <laughs> Wendy's, but smaller portions, honestly. Yeah. That's my only problem with In and Out, is just my most recent experience wasn't how I remembered, and it kind of miffed me a little bit, but I'm not faulting the entire company over it. Mm-hmm. I know, I think my brother kind of felt that way when he tried to get me to go to Outback Steakhouse. And it was terrible for me. Like, just the experience was horrible. And he was like, oh, man, you didn't get to experience it the way I did. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's just what happens. You, you can yeah. love a place and other people hate it. Yeah. Like Burger King. I'm sure there's people who have every horrible, traumatic thing you can think of happen to them, happen to them at Burger King. Yeah. But I love it. <laughs> yeah. But again, this is our opinion right now. <laughs> and that's all that matters. <laughs> so, what do you think of Kentucky Fried Chicken, hon? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, I used to be a fan. Used to. And uh, that's going to be my answer as well. Yeah, I, I used to. Um, I haven't had them in years. And my last experience was less than superb. <laughs> do you even remember what it was? Uh, I do believe that the meal wasn't even cooked all the way through. <laughs> yeah, it sounds just about right, honestly. <clears throat> I liked their, um, their, like, their little chicken bowl things, but I didn't like how they, they, you know, they would have, like, the potatoes and everything. Mm-hmm. They, I didn't like how they put the, the popcorn chicken in the potatoes, the mashed potatoes and everything. It was all just in one bowl. Now, I don't... That actually sounds kind of good. <laughs> it, well, it didn't sit well. Oh, okay. It, it sounds wasn't. good, sure. It sounds good, but it wasn't. It wasn't, though. And I don't think it was meant to be served that way. Like they were just in a hurry and just threw it all in there? Yeah. Now, um, I we used to love Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, me and my family, before, you know, when I used to live with them. And I haven't for a long time, so I don't know if they still do. I could call up my mom and see if... Do you still eat Kentucky Fried Chicken? I don't know if she does, really. Um, but yeah, we, we used to have it. It's definitely less than par now. <laughs> there are, There's better options, I will just say that. Like there, The food's not as good as they used to be. Uh, there's room for improvement. I'm not going to say that it's the worst choice. If you have to eat, yeah, it'll feed you, but yeah, there's better options. <laughs> so Kentucky Fried Chicken, um, growing up, I loved Kentucky Fried Chicken. <clears throat> I really did love Kentucky Fried Chicken. 
Yeah, it was the chicken place to go to. Um, somewhere along the line, I guess after Colonel Sanders died, I don't know. The the the, the quality went way down. We had one place here in town. And funny story, that's the first place I ever saw my uh, father go off on a an employee. Like, he <clears throat> cursed, well, he didn't curse the girl out, but he told her off to a manager and stuff. And the, she, so we had ordered um, some, we, we had ordered some honey, uh, they were doing this thing at the time, a honey marinated chicken. And they gave us barbecue marinated chicken and we had to bring it back. And as we entered, the girl looks at us and goes, what happened now? And Oh, that's not very good service. <laughs> and he told her, and he, he had spoken, he, he brought a manager up and he was like, that girl is snotty. And the girl was like, oh, please at him. And well, oh, please, I ain't coming back here no more. And they walked out and I was just a little kid. I was like four or five years old. I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> this uh, is scary. Honestly, I'm kind of on his side. <laughs> yeah, she was bad. She was a bad servant. You don't act like that, even in front of the manager. What What was she, like, in good with the manager? You I don't know. know. They I both mean. were very young, so I don't know. I don't know and what so happened after that. So she thought she could get away with stuff just because she was doing secret stuff with the manager? I, rem- <laughs> I just remember her reaction. Oh, please. Yeah, you don't, you don't act like that. I don't care. You can, oh, please take my food back, get it right, and come back with no problem. How about that? <laughs> I, I don't remember what happened, honestly. I was a little kid, so I wasn't paying too much attention, but I just remember that. Anyway, every time I've had classic Kentucky Fried Chicken now, it's soggy, and it's just not how it used to be. I remember I started getting their extra crispy version as well. And that kind of made up for it. Their extra crispy kind of became their old fashioned recipe. And now it's just too crispy and it's just flaky. And yeah, I don't care for Kentucky fried chicken. And I remember one time I threw up a little bit eating it and it scorched my throat for like a week. So I'm going to put them in D, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't quite fail on all accounts. Yeah. But it does fail. Yeah. It's. It's, They're close to it. It's dropped. I have not eaten there in decades. Maybe they're better. I do know that they're meme lords now. They have a, an advertising yeah. agency that just works memes and just weird crap and everything they That's do to the get thing. young people to like them. That's the thing, though. When a company resorts to that kind of advertisement, they're not doing well. Yeah. That lets you know they're really not doing well. Mm-hmm. I will say this, though, when we go to Japan, and if we're there around wintertime, I want KFC. It's probably different quality, so we'll find Apparently out. Apparently, it's really good there, and they eat it traditionally around Christmas time. <laughs> buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, is that what that little buffalo is? Yes. All right, I have not had. I have not had either. I've heard good and bad things, but never had. For somebody who loves marinated wings as much as me, I'm very surprised I haven't been there, but... So far on our list, the one that we ha- that has the most has never been. <laughs> yeah, it's se- which says a lot, <laughs> considering we live in a town of nothing like ninety percent restaurants. It well, so I mean I'm always willing to try new food. I really am, but it it also there's just something about when you when you love something, you just want to have that. What you're yeah, what, you what you're used to. You don't want to risk it. Maybe once everything opens up again, we'll start risking things a little more. Let's go to a Zaxby's. All right, a Zaxby's, and then we'll get... Oh, never mind. (laughs) Uh, Chick-fil-A. What a divisive conversation this may become. Uh, uh, In terms of food, Mm -hmm. Chick-fil-A has not disappointed me. Yeah. In terms of food, uh, actually, and in terms of in-restaurant service, they're very polite. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, I've heard horror stories about how they treat certain, um, members of the civilization. Mm-hmm. And I have not witnessed it mm-hmm. myself, so I don't have a huge formal opinion over that. But I can tell you that it's, I'm weary. I'm yeah. just waiting for the day for someone to, like, give us a problem because we're a gay couple. 
mm-hmm. and we're eating in the restaurant, but it hasn't happened. We we have not eaten there. Let's be fair. We have not eaten there in about seven years, though. So, <laughs> uh, nah, I don't think it's that long, dude. Maybe about six or seven years. I think it's been a long, long time since we've eaten there because we kept giving them chances every time they would release a statement and stuff uh, yeah. about it. And then immediately, the, very similar to a lot of things where uh, I don't want to bring politics up, but where people won't rail against what they're what they're being accused of but they simply say we're not for this we're not for this but then they don't speak up against it you know kind of thing they let people run wild and represent them kind of thing you can go on their facebook on their twitter anywhere and in the comments are a bunch of creeps who are talking about politics and social issues and stuff from a very gross point of view and they don't block them they don't take their comments down now that is that says one of two things it either says uh that those people are right Mm -hmm. who are commenting or it's uh uh, it's one of those things where um they're not going to let it get to them maybe like it it's they're just going to ignore it but it may still may not be true but they pre- they may feel it may make us look negative if we uh, attack them and speak against them or something. Mm-hmm. It's one it's one of those he said she said situations that you just don't know what to follow. You have to have your own experience. So far, we haven't had a negative experience. Yeah, we haven't had a ne- negative experience. Um, In terms of chicken places, it's better than KFC. I will say that. Um, I'll put it on. When it when it comes down to it, though, it's just chicken sandwiches and waffle fries. I yeah, I, I'd say maybe put it on the B. I don't want to do that. I I want to put it lower just you because of the lower? politics. Just because of politics, because of and I politics. hate that. I hate that it's just politics. Okay, where would you like to put it? <sighs> on the C. We're gonna put them on C. All right, we're gonna put them on C. Get get better. It could happen. Yeah. They could get better. Like, they could get. If it's not true, then say so. Make the politics and your image better. I want to remind people of something, and I don't. I don't know how, if this is going to be taken well or not. Denny's. A lot of people don't remember what Denny's went through in the late nineties. Oh yeah. yeah. Because a lot of young people just know Denny's. They just know that Denny's is this <laughs> their late night food is <laughs> so gross. But oh uh, no, Denny's was considered a racist hotbed for a long time in the late nineties mm-hmm. because they kept anytime Jewish people, anytime Arab people came into their restaurant, they'd be treated poorly. They'd be given pork without them knowing. They would get receipts that had the N-word on it and stuff. So much to the point that Denny's had to hire a consulting company that tried to cover up for it by putting nothing but but like people of different races and commercials and stuff for different yeah. regions. They had to do a big cover-up for Denny's. But then that also doesn't help the situation because it looks like you're not all, um, you're just trying to cover up over, you're like, you're trying to overcompensate. Possibly. But what I'm saying is they haven't had an uproar in decades. Chick-fil-A could get there someday. They could. I want to see them do it. But for now, they're closed on Sundays. They're a big religious company. They don't get rid of bigots in their social media comments. And I just... It kind of looks like you're not acting upon things when you should be. You're simply saying, I'm not for this. Well, I'm sorry. I need to see some action. I'm sorry. I hate that, but it has to be. (sighs) Moving on. (laughs) Panera. Okay, Panera Bread, um, it's all right, but I'm not very impressed with it. It's a little expensive. It's expensive. Um, It's not fast food either, I don't feel. It's like cafeteria food, almost. Kind of, but it's a sit-down restaurant. Do do they have have a drive-thru? They have a drive-thru. We went to their drive-thru. If it has a drive-thru, then it can be considered on the fast food list. I remember I had a uh, 
a sandwich of horseradish all over it and it burnt my nose for like a week, but it was good. <laughs> from what I had from Panera Bread, it, it just seems like, and I don't want this to sound negative, it just seems like old lady food. Like, and you know, <laughs> you, you go there when you're trying to purge yourself of fast food. <laughs> yeah, but you have to eat. Yeah. It has, I mean, the soups are really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, we, uh, we often have in the fridge these little containers of soup from Panera Bread. I love how that came out, but their soups are very nice. That is an old lady, an old lady thing for sure. I, yeah, I their know, but, soups are but so they're actually, nice. some of the soups are even better than freaking Campbell's canned soups. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So it, it it's just a place that you want to eat at when you don't want fast food. Mm-hmm. And... I'm not thoroughly impressed with it. I like the soups, but everything else is kind of basic. Like, your side breads are a little too dry. I would like those to be a little softer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the biscottis and stuff, they're just too hard on the teeth. I got some good chompers. I got a real nice set of fangs, but I don't feel like giving them a workout every time I want to eat either. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I, I would put it kind of on B. Because the soups are good. They're okay. Yeah. They're okay. And we've never had bad service either. Yeah. Some bad service, and it's not considered service, but bad company stuff. I've put in for work here twice and never got a call back. So oh. that was when I was younger. But so maybe they would take me now. I'm not sure, but I don't want to work maybe. there. <laughs> so, <laughs> what uh, is that one? I don't say Lelps. L E L P S. I don't know what it is because it's I've never a barbecue been to it. joint. I've never been there, so I, I have no opinion. I've never been there. <sighs> Long John Silver's. Oh, you have stories about this. Uh, Long John Silver's is also kind of middle ground to me. It's not really. It's not something to write home about. Everybody apparently has that restaurant that they will go to in a pinch. They think they want it, and then the instant they're done, they say, I shouldn't have eaten that. <laughs> this is Long John Silver's for me. The, I'm just going to say there's better places to get fish, even if you have to go to a sit-down restaurant. <laughs> I don't like Long John Silver's. Their, their batter that they use is so yucky. Like, you taste it for days afterwards, and it gives you such terrible indigestion yeah, it, there, there's better places. It's definitely down on like either C or D. I'm going to give it a D. D. I Probably. hate Long John Silver's. I will never eat voluntarily at a Long John Silver's if ever If I again. want fish, I'm just going to go to a sit-down restaurant. Yeah. yeah I, I won't really get fast food fish. It, when you get fish, it has to be done right. Yeah. Marco's Pizza. I've never eaten at Marco's Pizza. <sighs> I haven't either. Some people say it's terrible. I've never had it. And I'm also... Had not heard of it until recently. Mm. But when I had heard of it recently, I only heard negative things. <laughs> okay, now this is a conversation that can go on for a while, too. But let's see what we can do. Um, I don't hate McDonald's. Um, I will say I don't like it as much as I used to. Mm-hmm. I would eat at one again, but I will be very choosy about what I eat. I still like their fries. Some of their sandwiches I still like from what I can remember. I haven't been to one in years. I've never been to one with you except the drive through You got me the fries when I had a migraine one night because mm-hmm. I needed something salty and greasy, and McDonald's was right there, and it worked fine. Mm-hmm. Um. I have a long history with McDonald's. Literally, it was my fast, first fast food restaurant. Mm-hmm. I've had a birthday party at one. <laughs> so I do have a little bit of loyalty to McDonald's. I do. Just just because of my history with Everybody's it. like that, though. They all have their childhood was McDonald's. and It's not not even just childhood. Like I, I, There's still some things about it that I like. And I, I kind of think McDonald's does need to improve on things, but I also feel they've kind of gotten a little bit too much negativity. Sometimes it's overdone, yeah. It, it's like Jack in the Box, that it's overdone, and I just don't see that much negativity. I do have negativity around it. 
Yeah, it's just not as much as I, I feel that I'm not obsessed. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it deserves all of the negativity that it's gotten. And also, people have to remember that McDonald's is literally one of the first fast food chains in America, and without it, you probably wouldn't have many of the others. <sighs> uh, see, I'm not going to say that because that's like when people say you have to love the Beatles. You have to love the Beatles because without the Beatles, there is no other music. No, I'm not it's, going. Latin, they're the zeitgeist. <laughs> okay, I'll rephrase that. I will. That's not what I meant yeah, when yeah, I said yeah. that. I know, and I think you know that. Yes, it's just it, it is. I, I I do respect its history and where it came from. I don't like McDonald's. <laughs> I don't like it as much as I, I used. to. I don't like McDonald's. I used to eat there a lot as a kid. Yeah, I used to eat Big Macs and Happy Meals and everything. And I I respect what they wanted to be, <sighs> but they, I, they just they I feel they have reached that and then they have since fallen from that. I've had more positive experience experiences at McDonald's than negative. I will say that, but they're disgusting, man. They make me crap my pants. They literally, it's it's yeah. they give me diarrhea. McDonald's start, gives me diarrhea. They gotta start fixing their problem. The only thing I can eat from there is fries, and that's it. Yeah. And even their shakes are just soft-served ice cream. Okay, I, I will say also this, McDonald's, if you're listening, you need to start bringing back the seasonal shakes for all locations. Yeah, all the I ones in our tired, town now. I'm, I'm tired of wanting to get a shamrock shake in March and... Every freaking McDonald's in our town doesn't have it. Can you at least do like some ground cover? Call up every location and say you need to be serving the complete menu. To be fair, like our whole town is franchise businesses. So McDonald's doesn't own a lot of the McDonald's around here. It's franchised out. And also, oh, pardon me, I burp. It's kind of a tradition that, all McDonald's milkshake machines are broken. <laughs> so that's actually a trope now that something, the McDonald's yeah. milkshake milkshake machine is down. Something that I will also give to McDonald's is that they've had some very creative locations. Oh yeah, the very specifically themed locations. I s- I still want to visit the Spaceship McDonald's in Roswell, New Mexico, that mm-hmm. is on Route sixty six, and I swear McDonald's. That if you've closed it down, I don't care if it's due to poor service of last year or not, you will lose a lot of faith with me because that is one location kind of as like a little icon that I've always wanted to see. So if you've closed it just because it's in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to be very upset with you. Here in town, we used to have a um, McDonald's that was 50s themed. It was like Happy Days themed when you'd go inside and there'd be like classic cars and everything and chrome and murals and that. everything. That I would love. They had a similar one in California, but it wasn't done up that well. Mm-hmm. I went to a, a marine themed one, I told you, when I was in Monterey, California. Yeah. It was all marine themed. It had fish hanging from the ceiling and everything, and it was all blue and pink and white. <laughs> I'm going to put them in D. I'm sorry. They make me crap my pants. The only good thing they... No! <sighs> they have good french fries. I'd say put them in C. And I don't get bad service from them. I really don't. But I'd say that putting them in D or F is really just feeding into everyone else's negativity. <sighs> yeah, they their french fries is good. I've never had bad service at a McDonald's. They've been a part of my life <laughs> since childhood. They're, and they're heavily steeped in the urban community. Mm. I McDonald's, I will tell you that it's very few things that have disappointed me have I ever wanted to go back to. I want to go back to you. So improve yourself. Yeah. We can fix him. Anyway, that's McDonald's. Sorry, McDonald's. Dairy Queen! Or Tasty Freeze to some other folks. I like Dairy Queen. I like Dairy Queen. I have never had a negative experience from them, ever. I like their atmosphere. I love ice cream. I mean, <laughs> I like the name of Dairy Queen. I don't like it when people just call it DQ. That's just, 
It sounds stupid. That's like when people used to call McDonald's Mickey D's. Yeah. I, I, that, that was a big thing in the 90s, and it made me want to puke even then. I don't like that. That's the only thing I don't like. You but, can go to Taki B's or Chicky Fleas. I love the Dairy Queen we have in our town. We go there, and you see the pictures of the old Dairy Queens in the 50s and stuff. Mm-hmm. I love that. What if they called Domino's Dommy P's? Dommy P. Dommy was kind of a nickname a little while that I used to have. <laughs> Even though it should have been subby. Uh, anyway. <laughs> DQ. <laughs> Dairy Queen, I think, is one of the best uh, ice cream places. I like Dairy Queen. We used I to have like a it. Dairy Queen here in town in the early 90s that was wood paneled and wood paneled on the inside and it was old fashioned. And I have a lot of loyalty to the Queen of Dairy. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to put it up at the top? <laughs> Yes. Dairy Queen is S tier. <laughs> and it's a great place for ice cream too. It is a great place for ice cream and people people kind of forget that because there's so many different places that serve like hundreds of different flavors, mm-hmm. but Dairy Queen does ice cream good. I'm sorry, they, they do. do. They've had some really interesting ideas with the ice cream in the past. I, I miss sitting in that ice cream with you. I mean, yeah, sitting in the ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold sitting in here. In, <laughs> sitting in that dairy cream with you. We would do that every summer, remember? Yep. We would always go to Dairy Queen. I don't even know if that place is open anymore, which honestly. Would, which would be sad because I liked the interior. We always sat in that one corner where the, the light would come in just right to where it's not blinding, but it's just enough mm-hmm. to be relaxing. I remember the girl there once forgot to charge me for a milkshake and I had to tell her, yeah, I wasn't charged for this. And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Are you a pizza slut? Yes, I am actually, but <laughs> that, that isn't, we're not talking about that right now. Uh, pizza the Hut. Um... I like Pizza Hut. I do. I don't think it's as good as uh, Domino's or Papa John's. I think it's a step below. But it's definitely not terrible. Um, I haven't been in a Pizza Hut in years. Mm -hmm. And the last time I... The last several times I was in a Pizza Hut, I know that it's supposed to be relaxing. It's too dark. Yeah. It's too dark inside. I think they want it to be like a family kitchen i don't like that i like knowing that there are people around me i don't like sitting in the dark and then somebody sits behind me and i can't tell what yeah, their facial features like fine, are it's like a family dining room it doesn't make it doesn't make me feel very relaxed now this is coming from somebody who eats in his bed in the dark <laughs> but if i'm in a public setting i want to be able to see things also it's noisy most of the time. I have gone to a few quiet pizza huts, but a lot of them are built around the aspect of you, you got like your self-serve salad bar and everything. Mm-hmm. And there's always kids running around it and screaming. And we always have to request to be sat in a quiet area. And there's not too many of them because everybody else who's come in before you has requested the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't sat down to eat in a pizza hut in about 10 years. And that was just coming back from a road trip. Mm. That's just my opinion on the building itself. On the food, it's it's still good. Uh, it's very doughy, though. Yeah, it's, that's true. It's really filling, really doughy. A lot of people like that, though, for pizza. Mm-hmm. Um, the taste is still really good. I love the way they make the pepperoni crispy. Mm-hmm. So the food actually uh, is better than actually being at the building. If you can just order it, yeah. that's better. So I worked at Pizza Hut for about a year once, maybe about a year and a half. And I'm not going to put that on the score itself because all restaurants are, and then we're not talking about their, that kind of part of things. But I ate there a lot when I worked there. And if there was one thing that I always said when I was frustrated when I worked there, was at least we make really good food. And I know a lot of people hate this. I think Pizza Hut is delicious. I love 
Pizza Hut. I get nothing but Domino's, but Pizza Hut has marinated wings. Pizza Hut has stuffed crust cheese pizza, the the crust with the cheese stuffed in it. They have all sorts of... Didn't think about that. Yeah, they have breadsticks. They have cinnamon sticks. They have pasta bowls. They have calzones. You know, I'm just going to... As much as I do love Domino's Pizza, I may have to put Pizza Hut on the S tier. Pizza Hut, even though we don't eat there anymore... I'm remembering things that I really like about it. Gosh dang, people would hate this. I know people will hate this, but... No, I, I'm going to have to. I just literally have formed a new opinion. Isn't this bizarre, though? This, though? We eat at nothing but Dom... Have we discovered something about ourselves doing this? We eat at Domino's all the time, That's but we don't... because Domino's is good, but we just realized that we miss... It's almost like missing an old flame. <laughs> Gosh, they were so... I mean... <laughs> They have it going on. They had it going on. <laughs> and bring that stuffed crust back to me. <laughs> oh, God. It's so cheesy. Oh, I want that cheese. I mean, you're okay. You know the what? Cheese. The next time we get some pizza, let's get Pizza Hut. And I'll tell you what, people. Um, We'll report back. We will report back on this. <laughs> we will. People are we'll, clamoring. We'll, we'll actually do a short video. Two and a half hours into this, people are clamoring about Pizza Hut. What, is, what do they think of Pizza Hut now in the year 2021? Right now, I just think that Pizza Hut's a little bit better. Well, I know at first I said it was less than Papa John's and Domino's, but no, I'm, I'm bumping it up to S tier for now. We'll find out. This is weird. Why? I guess because a lot of people prefer their drive through Starbucks, I guess, is kind of fast food. I always thought it was just um, a coffee place. Coffee places are kind of different. Yeah. They're their own thing. They're like cafes. Yeah. But we are talking about kind of like the fast food of coffee cafes. Yeah. They're everywhere. They're like the McDonald's of coffee places. I guess they do belong on the list. Yeah. Um, I also will tell right now that um, not enough items on the menu to choose from for me to have a, a very good opinion. I've had some of their stuff. I'm not too thoroughly impressed. Mm-hmm. Um, you, yes, it's true that you can make your coffees, the, your whipped coffees and everything, any way you want to. You can request certain flavors and stuff. But then when people do, they have said it doesn't taste very well. Um, I like their chai teas. Chai tea latte. Ice chai tea latte. Those are nice. Yes. I like those. I haven't had everything else on the menu, and there's not a whole lot to choose from. So I would have to just get one of those whipped cream coffee things and see if I like it. I am a coffee fiend. I have it every day, but um, I need to have more of an opinion. Right now, it's kind of middle of the road for me. Mm -hmm. It's not too impressive. People are going to think I'm so weird for this. The big thing that people dislike about Starbucks is that, ew, it's burnt. It's burnt gross coffee and they cover it up with tons of sugar I love extra strong burnt coffee with tons of sugar and creamer I um, love you and my mother I love it you we we visited my mom just last year you had her coffee and you loved it there is nothing I love more than a strong (laughs) kick in the face coffee with extra sugar that just gets you amped for the day. I love it. Now you see, I can't, it's not that I hate the taste of a strong coffee is that it actually hurts my stomach. Yeah. 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 I love real sweet coffees that are kind of light, a little bit lighter, but I still want to taste the coffee. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm, I'm, if there's anything that I'm extremely picky about and, and also consume every day is my coffee. Mm hmm. You can mess up my favorite food dish and I'll still eat it, providing it's still edible. But if you mess up my coffee... (laughs) Uh, I'm going to say... And they're too expensive. I'm going to say that too. I I know that's a big thing. I've heard that. Starbucks is real expensive. They're expensive. And (laughs) I'm going to say a B tier. Okay. I've had better... I have had better coffee 
And you can get better, in my opinion, and a lot of people are going to hate this, you can get better coffee from a gas station than Starbucks. <laughs> I oh really boy, think you just so. pissed off every queen in the world, didn't you? But Starbucks <laughs> has good <laughs> options if you're into iced coffee, if you're yeah. into chopped coffee and all sorts of little espressos. Yeah. If you just like coffee, if you're, I need my morning coffee, go to a gas station. It's I do, fine. I do like your logo. Very classy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I love the logo to Starbucks coffee and especially all of, and, and if you can find one, the Arbucks coughing. <laughs> Arbucks coughing? Yes. Yeah. That's the Starbucks of the Pokemon world. Arbucks coughing. <laughs> Steak and Shake. Okay, I've never been to Steak and Shake. Uh, my family like it. Like all my siblings, they love Steak and Shake. They said that it's good. Um, I don't know where they would put it on this list. I've never had it, so I have no opinion. That's where I have to do too. Waffle House. Where would you put Waffle House, honestly? Because I know all a right. lot of people, it's notorious that it's gross and nasty and it's like... It's it's like loser food, people try to say. Waffle House still has kind of that 50s, 60s charm to a diner to it, especially the menu. Mm-hmm. I have to say that I really do really like the menu. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the food I've had has always been good. Mm-hmm. We did have a negative experience once. Um. We uh, And it wasn't the same Waffle House, so we're not saying every Waffle House is the same. We went to one Waffle House and we were eating and a dang roach walked right past us. Oh, yes. And we had to leave. I forgot about that. We left immediately. Now, I'm not faulting the entire chain, but that better not happen more than once. Mm-hmm. It better not. If it can happen once and I'll leave... And I'll just say well, there was a problem with just that location. But if it happens more than once, then yes, you do have sanitary problems. Mm-hmm. The only other kind of thing that kind of bugged me is that sometimes when we would go there, the tables would not always be clean. Mm-hmm. But that would be corrected when we would come over and the waitress would come over with a cloth and wipe down the table. Yeah. The <sighs> food sits well with me. I like Waffle House food. I like that you have a jukebox, even though it's digital. I like that you got a jukebox and you can listen to oldies music if you want to. Um, yeah, I, I have a good opinion with Waffle House. Um, I think that if you want traditional diner, uh, kind of breakfast diner food, it's really good. Um, maybe slightly better than IHOP, although IHOP is kind of a little bit more classy. So, Waffle House is very strange for me. Oh, the service, too. So... We have stories with that. <laughs> people people have their Denny's. People have their McDonald's. People have their, pla- their places where they're like, I don't know why I keep going to this place. I just don't know why. I have a horrible time every time, and it's the only place that's open or something like that. I think it's kind of unfair to say that Waffle House is that way because we have voluntarily been like, it's, you know, it's early evening. There's tons of places open, but let's go to Waffle House. Yeah, I've actually said I want some freaking loaded hash browns right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Every problem I will say that we've had with Waffle House has always been specific to a location. It's not been a problem that has happened with every single one. Yeah. So I can't fault an entire chain for any problem we have had. I've never had bad food at a Waffle House. I mean, it's all bad if you think about it. It's greasy. It's quickly made. It's not nutritional. But that is diner food. It's that's, diner food. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> um, so a long time ago, um, a long time ago, me and an ex went to Waffle House and they refused to seat us. Yeah. And that- it was one girl in particular. <laughs> The entire place was empty, but one group of people, they had garbage all over the tables, and the one girl up front would not seat us. We just stood there. Now, my ex was completely in drag because he had just gotten back from a performance, 
and that could have been the reason. Or, you know, as I've thought about it, maybe she was mad that she had to clean up the tables and maybe it was the girl she was working with's job to clean up the tables and she wasn't going to do it. It could have been some sort of argument between the two. I don't know. They weren't talking to each other. It was like they didn't like each other. The thing about that, though, don't let your personal stuff get in the way of your job. (laughs) The girl comes out from the back and she's like, have you two been served yet? It's like, no. We've been standing here for nearly 20 minutes. And she was like, oh my God, what? what? And she was just like, why? And we were like, she won't seat us. So like, oh, there, there has to be some kind of mistake. And, and she, she didn't say anything to her. She didn't say anything. She was very polite to us the rest of the night and talked to us for the rest of the night, but mm-hmm. never went back to that place. Never went back to that Waffle House in particular. I know which one it is. We've never been to it ourselves. Yeah, I don't want to want to bring yeah. you there. We have about three waffle houses in town, maybe four. Yeah, we have two right across the street from each other. Yeah, and but uh, and then of course there was the bug filled one that we went to coming back from Wilmington. Thankfully, it's not in our town. Yeah, it's not in our town, but so we never yeah. have to go back. <laughs> <sighs> but I'm gonna say. Waffle House, just because it's so 50 50. Uh, Middle of the road or just a little above? Little right there. Yeah. B. I would say that you will have more positive experiences than negative. Mm hmm. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and another reason I will say that uh, any problem we've ever had with a Waffle House has never been the same for every location. You, you feel that at that particular Waffle House, you were not served because your ex was in drag mostly and just yeah. she was rude. Yeah. I have cross-dressed in a Waffle House with yes. you for, uh, several times, mm-hmm. and we've always been seated. And a few times, the girls there have complimented my outfits. Mm-hmm. So I know that it's not every single one. Yeah. So who knows? It's the past, but... This is what you get. <clears throat> Churches. Okay. You feel I've eaten it. I feel I haven't. <laughs> I almost guarantee you every time we have fried chicken, it's from churches. Well, if it is, I swear it's Bojangles because I always see the dang Bojangle boxes. They're all right. I like them. I'd go to them way over Kentucky Fried Chicken. I love right. churches. I would like to have some more churches chicken to have more of an opinion. Uh, I will go with your opinion right now. Mm-hmm. Because actually I do trust you a lot with food. But, yeah. Friendlies. Um, I've never been to a friendlies. Me I've either. heard some good things about them, but I've never been to one, so I don't have a personal opinion. I went to a shopping mall called Friendlies once. And the whole mall was called Friendlies. I think it's in Greensboro. Wow. Uh, Johnny Rockets. Okay, Johnny Rockets. That's weird I, that this is on here. I love Johnny Rockets for a lot of reasons. Um, because it is a big 1950s theme, which I love that aesthetic. I love the 50s and the 60s. Uh, we went to a Johnny Rockets um, in Pittsburgh, and it was my birthday. I wore my poodle skirt and everything, <laughs> and I loved that experience. They always play 50s music. Sometimes a little bit of 60s, too, and that's fine. But... I love the way they look in there. Um, there is another restaurant that I love going to that has the very same aesthetic, but it's not on this list, and that is Highway 55. And we've gone there several times, you and I, mm-hmm. on my birthday, and just when I want to have the 50s experience. Yeah. I don't always dress the part, but um, I'd say that they're both fairly the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see more Highway 55s these days than Johnny Rockets. I'm kind of wondering if Johnny Rockets is kind of fading out. Yeah. Which is sad because I really love their theme. But I would put it right up on the S just because I really love the theme they present. I've never had a problem with their food either. It makes you happy, so it makes me happy. So it's an (laughs) S tier. Yay! (laughs) Johnny Rockets is S tier. I've never been to Del Taco. Neither have I. Everyone says that they are better than Taco Bell. And I'll take I, I believe it. <laughs> I've, I've never been to them. I believe it. I believe it, too, just because I've heard it so much now that, it, well, there must be something good about it. <laughs> Olive Garden. 
Okay. Um, Olive Garden is a sit-down restaurant, everyone. Yeah. It's not fast food. Um, if you want, we can give our little opinion about it, but it's not going to go on one of the tier lists. Okay. We bean, but it, it, it's all right. It's yeah, nice. It's it, a nice, comfortable restaurant. It is. And they do have good food. Mm-hmm. They do. I mean, if you're like all about the authentic Italian experience. Well, then no. No. <laughs> Olive Garden is definitely just literally what they call Americana copy. Yeah. They're trying to represent an Italian theme, but still be American. I wouldn't even say Italian. They're just Mediterranean kind of food. You know? Yeah, it's a Mediterranean restaurant, kind of. Red Robin. Yum. I've never been to Red Robin. Have I you? was just quoting the... I know, I know. <laughs> the, uh, I know. The Yum. slogan. There. I've never eaten at a Red Robin. Um, my brother likes it. Now, um, if my brother calls me up and says, I don't like that <laughs> i just i'm just gonna have to say well you used to <laughs> so the only time i ever wanted to go to red robins was when they said that you could have endless sides for free apparently you can get endless shakes endless things i don't know if that's the deal anymore now that everybody's really hurting for money but yeah. uh yeah i've never been to red robins never have i so we'll try someday Cracker Barrel. I never went to Cracker Barrel until last year. Yeah, and that was my first time too, along with you. We both went to it for the first time together. And I do believe that may have been the last place we ever went. <laughs> I actually no, think no, we I think to... Cracker Barrel may be the last place we no, ever went. I know the last place we went to, and it's not on the list. What is it? That's Wiener Works. That was last? Yes, because we went and saw Sonic We at the theater. When did Sonic come out? February of last year. We right went before. to see this, I swear, when it was about springtime and it was no, still that, cold. It, it was January. Okay, I believe you. It was January. And for anybody wondering, Wiener Works is a restaurant just here in North Carolina and they are disappearing very quickly, so and you we know may what? never go there again. I don't like hot dogs, but Wiener Works is really good. They have <laughs> other things there that are really nice. I like their theme and everything. It's very 70s. <laughs> So, I don't... <sighs> Cracker Barrel was decent Southern food. When I'm in the mood for Southern food, um, and I want to find it at a restaurant, I now know where I can find it, but it, it kind of doubles as like a shopping store and a restaurant. It was very noisy. Uh, it was very crowded. I didn't quite like that. They couldn't help it, of course. Very cafeteria feel. Yeah, it felt like a cafeteria, but in a very um, mood light setting. So, here's what I say. The food was good. I liked it. If Chick-fil-A ever wants to escape their negative press, they but still embrace who they are morally, they should be like Cracker Barrel. Okay. Because Cracker Barrel is all about, like... Southern white Americana, but they don't rub it in people's faces. They don't try to talk about morality or get people in trouble for being gay or Arab or whatever the hell. Yeah, and they just, they just do their thing. And if you want to come on in, come on in. You know what it feels like to me? It feels like a nice little slice of Southern hospitality. It feels like a place you'd go to and run into Dolly Parton. That's what they want. They want Southern hospitality, relaxation. And you get that. You go there, yeah. there's nothing but white people. <laughs> and they're all just just minding their own business, having a family get together, and they don't oh, care that, if that, you're over there, if your boyfriend, Mackin, they they love you. Yeah. They, brotherly hospitality kind of I'm thing. I'm sure they do get um, people of other uh, race in there, yeah. too. But. It's, it's what... It's what... <laughs> If Southern hospitality didn't exclude so much, <laughs> it's what yeah. Southern hospitality should be. So, yeah. But it's... when it comes to the food, and when it came to the service, I remember it took a while. It did take a while. We had to play a game. Yeah, they actually give you games, a little, <laughs> a little um, tinker toy kind of play playing game to play while they while you wait for your food to at the them table. Benefit of the doubt, though, they were jam packed. They were. And it was a weekday. So it was maybe a they were just overrun that day, and we came. It's at a bad just popular. Time. It's a popular place. 
We'd have to go, like, right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now! <laughs> if, if they're even open. A lot of places are not open in their dining rooms. Yeah. So, so Cracker it's... Barrel, I'm going to put them at B tier because they're okay. Yeah. But I would not go there voluntarily over and over again. It's a place to go to once in a while. Yeah. Bring people you know, family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dave and Buster's. I don't have an opinion. I've only been told that it's like a, a better Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> um, Dave and Buster's. <sighs> Isn't that a sit-down restaurant? Dave and, no, no, no. Dave and Buster's is like a grown-up's uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Um... One thing that I remember about Dave and Buster's in particular was that I was walking around a mall with a friend once and they got all up in our faces because we were looking in there. We were literally looking in there. Well, that's not very nice. You don't want people coming in? And uh, I have heard nothing about their quality of food. I heard there's a lot of drunk people there. I heard that fights break out all the time. And they're plan- they wanted to open one up here in town before the pandemic hit. And they just have never been able to finish it. And now a place like this would never thrive in a post- Yeah, don't you play games yeah. there and stuff? Yeah. So I'm going to put them D-list. I'm sorry. I would like to hang out there someday, give it a shot. But I don't know. We'll see. Especially because I think you need a membership. I think you need a membership, and that's why the lady got all up in our face. So they just have not given a very good first impression. Possibly. Like the time I went to Sam's Club, which is like upscale Walmart where you need a membership to shop there. (laughs) Um, I went there for a job interview, and I couldn't get in because the lady wouldn't let me because I wasn't a member and she didn't think that I was really there for a job interview. The thing is, though, if you're there to actually join Sam's Club, how are you supposed to tell people if they're going to turn you away? That's a big thing. <laughs> like, that show Bar Rescue, they always say that. Why would you turn somebody away instead of offering them a membership? Yeah, like that's so stupid. It's You know why. And you, you know what, Sam's Club? I'm going to just buy what I want online so, <laughs> until you present something to me that I cannot find online sorry (laughs) bob evans have you ever been to a bob evans i have it's been literally years almost decades (laughs) did they used to be uh uh, roy rogers no okay bob evans is not a fast food restaurant so i don't know why it's on here it is a sit down strictly a sit down restaurant it's like a perkins it's like a um they have a lot of breakfast food i know yeah, that's what I always hear is that their sausage gravy is really good. Yeah, they have. We almost went to one, but it was during the pandemic and we decided not to because of the dining room thing. Mm. We just went to a Burger King instead. Okay. Remember, it was up in um, the trip that we had in the summer. Oh, okay. All right. I think I remember. I remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. There was a, a Bob Evans readily available, but we decided not to because they were going to put us in the dining room. So would you say it's okay? Um, from what I remember, it was okay. I don't remember the food very much. Should we put them in a never bean? Or... I mean, it's been, it's been literally well over 20 years for me. Let's put it in C. No, B. B, yes. Put them in B. I mean, I've heard good things about it, but it it is almost like a never-been situation. Mm -hmm. Tim Hortons. You know what? What? Put it it down to never-been because I don't remember enough about it. Okay. I've never been there, so. (laughs) Tim Hortons. A lot of people love Tim Hortons, especially if you're Canadian. Or northern in general. I think there's a few on the northern um, borders. I don't have a very big opinion about it. I've been to them twice only, and it was okay. The first time I went, I was not hungry at all. In fact, I had lost my appetite. I was not in a good mood, so I really didn't have a pleasant experience the first time. The second time, I'm not even sure of who I was with, a family or something. Um... Again, I haven't really been there enough. 
Uh, I wasn't too impressed, but I haven't had a whole lot, so. I haven't been there. <laughs> I've never been to a Tim Hortons. I want to give them a chance, so put them in the never been. Never been. Because the first time I went, I wasn't hungry. I literally ate like two bites of a biscuit, and that was it. All right. On the border. I've never been to On the Border. I don't know what that is. I think it's a Mexican restaurant. I've never been there. Huh. Krispy Kreme. Oh my God, Krispy Kreme is a friend. S tier. I don't <laughs> yes. care. Krispy it is, Kreme. It is a good friend. <laughs> Krispy Kreme, for those of you who don't know, is a donut shop. And we have one of the oldest ones in America here in town. And um, it's like Dunkin' Donuts, but... The, they have an absolute <laughs> emphasis on donuts. Yeah. Like, it's donuts first, everything else second. You know what Krispy Kreme is? It's a friend that you want to have the benefits with. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. a friend that you want their cream. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Krispy Kreme. I love Krispy Kreme. We've tried several donut places, and Krispy, we always come home to Krispy Kreme. It doesn't matter. We always come home. Yep. Duncan. And the, just the fact that they have all of their holiday specials and all of their unique donuts that um, no oh, one else has. and That's something I need to mention. That, I don't think it would knock them down to A. When they came out with their Reese's donut about two years ago, I never could get one. I could never get one. Wow, were they just gone? First of all, I don't like peanut butter. It's it's. It w- I wanted to get it for for Domino, and they would be sold out every time, and they yeah. wouldn't make any more for the day. We're out. We're out for the day. God damn it! I almost and, wonder if that was a policy thing. Like you're only allowed to make so many a day. Give the machines a rest, or possibly. Something. And then finally, I got in there, and there they just finally said, "We're done with that." Oh, and I had to tell them I never got any. I never got any. Okay. You guys were out every time. Krispy Kreme. We girl still, was so apologetic. We we're still in love with you, but just just bring them back, okay? I wish I could tell her I didn't even want the crap. <laughs> it's for someone else. But just, just leave them where they yeah, are. Yeah, they're fine where they are. We they're can great. give them one fluke. I love Krispy Kreme. Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I used to be a really big fan of Dunkin' Donuts, and I don't hate them. It's just I found a new lover, and their name is Krispy Kreme. And uh, Dunkin' Donuts... They can do things you can't, Dunkin' Donuts. It's just it's nothing personal. We have our memories, Dunkin' Donuts, but... You kind of failed me. <laughs> um, uh, it can you can put it on like B. They're fine. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> I remember going there when you and I first met, and you, you had no coffee in the house, and I had to yes. run to a Dunkin' Donuts with your mom, yeah. and just ask them for the most sugary thing possible. I okay. I told them my boyfriend really needs the most sugary thing possible, and they all went, oh. <laughs> all at once, like <laughs> harmonizing. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> he came back with my coffee. Yeah, uh, their donuts though, uh, and their other various sandwich treats and stuff. I don't have an opinion on. Uh, I only remember a little bit of, and it's still just kind of middle of the road. It's 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 all right if you if there's no other donut place open, they're all right. You'll get your donut fix, but it's not going to be out of this world donuts like Krispy Kreme. This is going to be a weird one. Baskin oh, Robbins. Baskin Robbins. Okay. Um, For those of you who don't know, Baskin Robbins is a, an ice cream parlor. Yeah. They have lots of treats and ice cream, and it's a great place to go in the summer or winter, whenever you want. They're I, delicious. I like Baskin Robbins a lot. Yes. Um. We only had one negative experience, just one. You, you uh, with, with what I'm thinking about, or was it a, a, a service thing? Uh, I thought it was the two things that made us literally sick. That That's what I'm talking about. Okay, That's yeah. twice. That's not one thing. That's two things, technically, because <laughs> it happened twice. It's one issue, but it happened twice, and that was enough for you to realize this place oh. that we really like, yeah. we can't go back to it. But we've been there a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, I love 
the option to where you can have any of the ice cream flavors you want. You can blend it with anything you want. You can make it into a shake. You can have it as a sundae. That's really good service. It's really nice options. Um, something that Dairy Queen does not do. But Dairy Queen is still a little bit better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dairy Queen doesn't make me sick occasionally. Yeah, and you had read up that is a thing with Baskin Robbins. Yeah, it, it makes people sick. Occasionally has made people sick. It's not just one location. So if you can just fix that, then you'll be gold right up on the top. But you're not on the top right now, Baskin Robbins. You're just. A Do you little think bit they're with it. the other things that make us sick? Or... No, because I've had more pleasant experience from Baskin Robbins than I have with the others. So would you say B? I would say B. They are B tier. They've, uh, but they're not going to get any higher than that. <laughs> Carabas. Carabas. Now I enjoyed that experience. I love Carabas. Carabas was good, and I think they're better than uh, Olive Garden. Again, they're not fast food. I'm really proud of the fact that <laughs> I told you about Carabas for ages, and it didn't fail me. <laughs> it, it didn't turn out that like oh no they're terrible we can't put it on the list because it's not fast food yeah but carabas if you could put it on the list it would be up near the top for italian food again one of the last place one of the last places we ate in 2020 could it yeah. have been the last or do you still think it's wiener works it was still wiener works okay, i believe okay. because that was we would always go there when we're going to see a movie Cheesecake Factory. I've never been to it. I've never been to Cheesecake Factory. People have told me that they serve other things besides cheesecake, but they've also said, no, cheesecake is the only thing that exists there. I love cheesecake, but I've never been there. So Mm -hmm. they also say that if you go there, do not plan to eat for the rest of the day. (laughs) (laughs) I heard they're expensive. Yeah, they're an expensive... uh, I, I've heard they're also a sit-down restaurant, but I don't know. Mm. I've never even seen one, actually. That's unusual. I just realized I've never even seen a cheesecake factory. They could not exist, for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a big, elaborate prank. <laughs> Beef O'Brady's. I've never been to Beef O'Brady's. Neither have I. Don't have an opinion. Bonefish Grill is not fast food and also never been. Yeah, I've never been either. Pollo Loco Crazy Chicken, I've never been been there. uh, A&W. Have you ever been to an A&W? Yes, but the the thing is they're usually partnered with Long John Silvers. They're like raped side by side and they usually have a little door you walk through. You can go to Taco Bell is that way too. Taco Bell, I think they're all owned by the same company. As well as Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is owned by the same company that owns Taco Um, Bell. Owns Long John Silver's, all of those. A and W, uh, I don't I love have the an root opinion beer. really. The I love the good. root beer, yeah, but I, I, uh, in terms of restaurant, I really don't think I've had anything from them. So yeah, I've never been to A and W. Firehouse Subs, never ag- even heard of it. Again, they are similar to uh, Jimmy John's in that they, I've had their subs. Because of a, um, because the workplace I was at would have work day appreciation, and they had boring subs. I didn't care for them, so yeah, right there. You know, another sub place that probably should be on here that isn't is Quiznos, and also apparently it's terrible. I think I've eaten at a Quiznos. And, yeah, I, I don't recall much about I've them. had some reliable sources that I trust say that Quiznos is terrible and was always soggy and uh, just bad. <sighs> Golden Corral. Oh, boy, you have stories from that that you've always told me. I've never eaten there, and I don't even think I will just because of your stories. <laughs> My brother, for some strange reason... I, if for some reason, I almost think he did it just to get a rise out of me. That, and if so, oh, that's probably. great dedication. Probably. And I have to applaud him for that. Well, boys do that to their brothers. <laughs> <laughs> he loved Golden Corral. And every year for our birthdays, I would go to uh, Tung Sing, which was a Chinese restaurant here in town. Every year. For some Strange reason, my brother would go to Golden Corral and he'd drag us to Golden Corral and I hated it. I hated it every time 
It was so loud. It was so gross. It was so boring. And every single time we'd be there, a baby would sit across from us and barf all over itself. Ew. Every time. I remember you even said one time he, uh, when it was his birthday, he hadn't even mentioned it yet. And you're like, just go without me. <laughs> I think so. I think he went without me one year. You stayed at home by yeah. yourself. <laughs> so I don't like Golden Corral. I don't like it. And wow, yes, the first absolute fail. Yes, I hate Golden Corral. I hate it. I am sorry if you like it. It's cafeteria food. It's literally like walking into a school cafeteria with puking children. And like yeah. it's it's every little thing that you would hate about eating lunch as a kid. I hate Golden Corral. I hate it. <laughs> Hungry Howie's. <laughs> what the heck is Hungry Howie's? I don't know how. Why does it have the kid from the Jetsons on it? Howie when he's hungry. I don't know. I've never had it. I've never had Hungry Howie's. Hooters. I don't like Hooters. I want you to put it on the fail. So. I've never eaten there, but I don't freaking like it. I I have funny stories from my brother who ate at a Hooters, and he would go with his friends, and they would be total jackasses the whole time, and they'd think the waitress had a crush on them, and my brother would just laugh his ass off at them. I know that the theme is supposed to represent. Now, for people who are foreign who may not know about Hooters, it's a place, literally, it, it is so... Um, how do I want to say this? It's so expectant of men to go to this place. Like, you don't... If, you're, if you are a male and you have not gone to Hooters, you're apparently not a male in America. And that's the first thing that makes me want to put it in the fail list is the fact that it's a place that I'm expecting to go to. I'm gay, okay? Now, if you have a bunch of guys walking around as waiters that are aware next to nothing, fine, I'll go. So I'm not going to go there with a bunch of women all scantily clad and they're all supposed to hit on you. It's disrespectful. It's not the kind of theme I want to sit around and I'm not going to go there just because I'm a guy, okay? Get over it, America. So me and my brother had this reoccurring gag where we would always, no matter what, if we were going to go out to eat, we would always say, want to go to Hooters again? All right, let's go to Hooters. And we'd act like bros and stuff. <laughs> and the reason we would do it was because one time we were standing in an elevator and these two military guys came up and they were like, so where are we eating tonight? I don't know. Want to go to Hooters? We went to Hooters last night. Let's go to Hooters again. All right. It, like, that just that <laughs> just became so in, installed in us that we just kept doing it for like so, 10 so, years. It's, it's a place for freaking douchebags. It just is. I, I don't care if you like it. I'm just going to say that too. I don't care if you like it. I don't like it. I want to say this right here and now because I'm never going to be able to use this. But a long time ago, I was, a, I was helping... A friend write a a show, a comedy show, and there was going to be a male equivalent of Hooters, and it was going to be called Peckers, and it was going to have a woodpecker on it instead of an owl, and it was so cool and funny, and everyone I told it to laughed their asses off, and I hate the fact that I'm never going to be able to use that joke. <laughs> so there, I want you to make a Peckers. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make a Peckers, they, and I want them all to be boys that are wearing next to nothing, and they and they serve you. There's already that <laughs> reoccurring gag right now, f- <laughs> Finboy Hooters, that everybody loves. Yeah. But I don't think it should be called that because boys don't have Hooters. It should be unless it's their butt cheeks. But they shouldn't call it call ho- it cheeks, cheeks, <laughs> like sheets, cheeks. <laughs> there you go. Anyway. <laughs> We've never been to, but we've never been to Hooters. I don't care. I put it there just for the principle that life expects me to go there just because I'm male. <sighs> okay. Hooters, sorry. Don't be so expectant. Anyways. I know I went on a very big <laughs> tangent just now, but I had to. Cheddars. Have you ever eaten at Cheddars? No, but it sounds like a place that we would get a lot of cheese. I'd imagine, uh, every time I think of Cheddars, I think of broccoli soup. For some reason, broccoli yeah. and cheese soup. It also sounds like a place that may have originated in Cheddar, England. Yeah. I'm sick of Cheddar. All right, uh, crystals, which is apparently White Castle. 
Really? Just, yeah, it's like how Hardee's is Carl's Jr. Okay, well, I've never been to a Crystal. Uh, I haven't either. But I'll try it. Longhorn Steakhouse. Um, never been to. Uh, we were going to, but they went out of business right here in town. So, and I still have a gift card for them. <laughs> really? <laughs> that I'll never be able to use unless it, one moves in not, or we move away. It's probably not good anymore, that card. <laughs> probably. It's probably expired. Outback Steakhouse. Okay, for one thing, I'm just going to say you have terrible marketing. Do not put the fake, fake Australian. Australian accent on your commercial. It makes me mute it every single time. Already, it makes me not want to go to your place, and I've never been there. I don't have an opinion over your food, but I don't like your advertising. <sighs> so, we've been to Outback Steakhouse, you and I. We have. Oh, we have? We have. Remember? My brother recommended it. He recommended it to the moon. He even gave us a gift card to go, and it was horrible. It was Wait loud. We had to wait forever to be seated. It was the they had music blaring so loud. Oh, I remember this. They played nothing but terrible music. We had an idiot sitting behind us toying yes. with his infant, trying to get his infant to eat. Yes, I remember this. Making loud noises. Everyone in the whole place was shouting above their lungs. And then finally, when my steak came, it was nothing but muscle and bone, and it was all dry and yucky. You know where you go? You go right beside Hooters. I hate Outback Steakhouse, and I felt so bad for my brother because he he loved it. He said, you need to check this out. It's like, ugh. <laughs> Sorry, Outback, and you were too expensive. Red Lobster. All right, um, everyone in my family, well, all right, I actually don't know that for 100% certain because I even have family overseas. Uh, almost everybody in my family has been to Red Lobster except for me. <laughs> I have never been to one, ever. The last time I went to Red Lobster, I was probably about five years old, and right across the street, a um, mass murder took place. Oh my god. While we were actually in the restaurant, a uh, mass murder took place right across the street. And um it, it it has always been every time I think of Red Lobster, I think about it. There was That's a kind of for, a for those who don't know, there was a shootout. A guy brought a shotgun into a restaurant and shot everyone. And yeah, uh yeah, that story is still haunting. We came out of the restaurant, we saw a bunch of police cars across the street. I'm like, wonder what the hell happened there. And when we went home, it we saw on the news, it's like, oh, crap. <laughs> so I was about four or five. That was the last time I ever ate there, and I don't remember anything about it. If we ever go to a Red Lobster, we're going to go to one that has an isolated location. There's nothing around it. <laughs> I'm going to put it in never being because I don't remember it. But I have been. I just don't remember it, but you haven't been. I've never been there. Ruby Tuesday. We love Ruby Tuesday, don't we? We do. Um, We've had a few bad experiences. Um, yeah, but they the service has always been nice. They always they, clean they, it up. Yeah, they were very adamant about correcting your steak that time. Mm -hmm. So much to the point where the manageress herself said, no, we'll fix it for you. It's no problem. And I really liked that. Mm -hmm. Their service is really nice. Um I like their food a lot, taste-wise and everything. It's all made really well. It's just sometimes I've had it's been a little too rich for me. Rich and as I, in taste? No, as in I get indigestion oh, okay, afterwards. Okay. No, taste is good. Uh, it's just a few times I've had a little bit of indigestion, but that was always kind of my fault. I would mm -hmm. just eat. Uh, I would just overeat while there. It's very easy to overeat at Ruby Tuesday because all of their portions are like the size of a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you do not it's not a place you go to where you want something small also it's not fast food oh i didn't realize that it's not fast food Ugh. it's okay it's not fast food uh darn it i love ruby tuesday but we I'm do let like, people know i love ruby tuesday yeah we love ruby tuesday but it's not fast food here's the thing i'm going to show some age here i remember ruby tuesday i could use to eat there and bring a date and it would cost less than $20. Now we're lucky if it's under 100 
Yeah, that's, they raised their prices yeah. so intensely. You got to fix that. You've gotten a little pricey lately. Have you ever been to Texas Steakhouse? No, I have not. I have not either. And that's uh, that. You know, there's another one called Texas Roadhouse. I've heard of them, yes. And that's that. Here we go. So these are our S tiers. Arby's, Burger King, Wendy's, Hardee's. Dairy Queen, Pizza Hut of all things. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, but we had to think about it. We had it. to think about it. We were born again. Johnny Rockets and Krispy Kreme. Right now, those are our favorite fast food places. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, given here on the list. Well, the S and A are our absolute favorites. A is Jack in the Box, Sonic, Papa John's, Panda Express, Popeyes, Domino's, and Churches. Wow. <laughs> Bishop's Chicken. Bishop's Chicken. Yeah. Like in GTA. <laughs> B, B tier is IHOP, Subway, Annie Ann's, which I had no opinion on, in and out I bet a lot of people were upset about that. Panera Bread, Starbucks, Waffle House, which even I'm a little bit surprised about, but I had to think about it. Yeah, the B, the B slot is, it's good, but needs improvement. Yeah. Cracker Barrel, Dunkin' Donuts, and... Uh, Baskin Robbins. Robin Baskins. C tier. They are the middle of the road where it's either we used to like them or, and they've gone down and we're kind of, we're, they still have a little bit of hope. Mm-hmm. Jimmy John's, White Castle, Little Caesars, surprise. I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to put them in B tier, but yeah, Little Caesars. Well, Little Caesars, I allowed you to put wherever yeah, you yeah. wanted. It's just, I can't eat them. I'll only eat the breadsticks. Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's. I, I almost don't want to put them anywhere else but C, because yeah. it would be giving in to a trope to put them this low, and it yeah. would just be trying to be a, a it would be contrarian <laughs> to make them yeah. higher. And that's just a lie. We have to be realistic here. It's yeah. not as good as it used to be, but it's not terrible. Yeah. Firehouse subs. No real opinion on it. Kentucky Fried Chicken. D list. Yeah, these are the ones that we just we do, we don't like. Don't care for. I don't care how many memes you pay twenty yeah. year olds to make for you. You're not a good restaurant. Although Sorry. the only thing about the D slot is that it doesn't fail on all accounts. I love the D slot. Um, Long John Silver's gross. We, yeah, it's just icky to us. Yeah. It's not that, because these places could have good service. We don't know, because You're, we refuse to enter it. You know what? <laughs> Technically, why did we put Dave and Buster's as a, at a D-list? I don't know. Why did that happen? Did I mean to put them in F? Yeah, I may I, have. You may have. Did, uh, you want to change your opinion? Yes, they're okay. F, even F. though I've never been there and you've never been there. They, they were, failed because they were rude. <laughs> yeah, they were rude to us. You know, that's not fair. <laughs> I've never been there. You I've would, never been to Dave and Buster's. Yeah, you've never been in it. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, and the F list are places that have failed on all accounts, and we will never, ever enter, ever. Jeez. I feel bad about Outback Steakhouse, but yeah, it was a miserable experience. Ugh. And Golden Corral, I haven't been since I was a child, so. <laughs> it's just you have history with it, and it's not good. And all these places we've never been, and a lot of them aren't because we don't go out. It's just because they're not in our town, or. Yeah, they're not. I don't know. <laughs> well, we've had many chances to go to Denny's, but for some reason, we when we look at the Denny's, we just think, uh, there's better places. And a lot of them aren't fast food either. I have to remember that. Yeah, Ruby a lot Tuesday of those are not fast, fast food. <laughs> Chili's is not fast food, although I've been there. Applebee's, I've never been. I don't think I've ever been to Applebee's. Denny's. I haven't. Uh, uh, I've heard that Applebee's is a lot like how you described Dave and Buster's. A lot of drunk people. Yeah. And just, yeah, it's a place where drunk businessmen go. Now, I'm sure some people will hate me for saying that, but that is what I've been told. So do not... Hate me because of what I've been told. Don't hate me because you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's that. This is our little tier list. I can't wait till the world opens up again so we can start going places again and we can report back to you guys and see see how we feel about other things now. 
All right, everyone, that is our opinions of what we love, and feel free to leave your comments, which I'm sure you will, but just remember that I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening for two hours and 20 minutes to hear us say we don't care what you think. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to be negative about it. If you agree, well, then great. Come, you know, you'll be our friend. Have I got two and a half more hours for you? <laughs> Uh, we, there are other lists that actually I plan to do. I have others, uh, ready for the future. Yeah. We probably won't do them right away, but, uh, yeah, I do have other ones planned out. <laughs> Even solo episodes of doing lists. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. See you guys around. Thanks for joining us on <laughs> Domino My Games. Bye-bye. Bye for now. <laughs>